Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Rom. I actually really like that song. I'm gonna go back to that one as we talk a little bit. So, I guess in terms of plot, this time I kind of know what we're doing. I, I don't know it specifically will advance the plot, but technically I have directions. So the game told me to, quote, investigate the Quarter Knights. So I'm assuming we're just gonna have to talk to a lot of NPCs until one of them happens to talk about a location that is relevant. It, you know, like, I I think this is closer to what I'm looking for. If you want it to be a bit more open, this is kind of what I'm looking for, where I am now encouraged to go talk to the NPCs. Or if I already know what to do, I could go forward. So we do have to figure out what they want us to do specifically. So I'm hoping the first town has somebody that will give us guidance. If it's somebody in another town, that would be kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. So I guess we'll find out. But anyway, mo mother's dead. We killed mother. Rip mother. Go ahead and pause the song. Hopefully you're doing well, Rob. Oh yeah, it's still going for sure. I was commenting yesterday, I was like, I'm like, there has to be a lot more to this game. Make peace now with hunting for NPCs for directions. That's unfortunate. Welcome Major Rage TV. Yeah, I think it's more like we got stuck briefly in the shelter because we had to be an absolute jerk to a small child to advance the plot. I don't really understand why that was mandatory to advance the plot. That was pretty BS. I literally was like, if you're telling me he's in the next room, why wouldn't I think you want me to go to the next room? Stupid. Okay, there's a way to get to the famous Armsmeister to the east, go through the outer ocean to the east. Okay, so let's write down what I think the plot wants us to do. So there is a whirlpool. The whirlpool blocks a place to the east. I must find an Armsmeister. So I'm assuming this is the plot. So, we don't know what gets rid of the Whirlpool yet, so let's just keep asking people. Uh, that's okay. Northwest... Malama... Strange Isle? Question mark? Hi, right, we're getting hints. I don't know which one of these will be relevant in order, but we're doing that. Welcome, Major Rage, again, and thank you for the follow. Don't worry about leaking roofs anymore. The Aldehyde Restoration Committee and their engineers repaired them. I was curious how many roofs were repaired. I wasn't going to comment until we got further, but she beat me to it. So we maxed out the restoration funds. Kingdom ruled by a man named... Heguchi. And it changed itself with murderous fighting event on a deserted isle. Okay, so let's make a correction. Northwest Isle, probably battle arena. <laughs> just, we're, you know, we're going through like the classics on this one. I'm just going to assume battle arena when I hear that. How hospital is this? Why do I need a clinic for a leg injury? All the people always complaining about the hospital. I don't think most of them have anything new. None of the new patients are patient. I'm a pro. There's a reason why we're called patients. Oh, he hit us with the, uh, the pun on that one. Hmm. So at least... Okay, so this is at least going somewhat well. We have... 
one unrelated lead that's more of like a side quest, which is fine. I, I like that. I want to be able, if you want to have me explore the world, you have to make talking to these people kind of worth it. Because I think we had that issue earlier where we were told to sail and I literally had no idea what the game wanted me to do. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, there's a tri-pillar, there's some place here. Where do you want me to go to advance the plot? So at least now I have a concept of what it wants me to do to advance the plot. Real power of the guardians lies within the souls of the people. That's not helpful. Remember what happened at the demons? Working on getting the other golems. What do you mean if they if they were working on getting them? Didn't they get all of them? Did I miss something? We destroyed one. We took over one. I thought they took. Maybe they only took four instead of six. I guess I lost track of how many they took from the festival. <clears throat> the vortex between inner and outer sea said to prevent monsters from entering the inner sea. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> we already know about that. We encountered that. Everybody talking about the new roofs. Does the professor have any hints? In a lab to the Far East. Okay, so more than one person giving the same hint is fine. That's good. It's, it's called redundancy to make sure that you find it. But I need a hint as to what to do with the Whirlpool. I mean, I could go to the Photosphere, Arctica. Oh yeah, I just, I, I rob and loot them all the time. Don't know much about runes in the Outer Ocean, you're not helpful. Temple runes aren't the only place the Guardians worship, they're also sacred grounds. Okay, so... I have a couple of destinations to go to. Just making sure nobody's up here. Hmm. None of this so far is... There's a rebel guild who's obsessed with attaining higher magic. Rebel guild. Rebel guild... Higher magic. Make a note. I have an ability to check what's inside without breaking everything, but it's more fun to break everything. I mean, Rob hit the nail on the head with the hammer on that one. Hmm. I have so many unnamed spells. We'll have to name something after Major Rage at some point. I think I named most of the spells I'm looking for. They've been hinting that there's like a higher tier of magic. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for that very desperately. Hmm. I don't think I got what I needed though. I'm still missing like one direction. Let me go to the mayor's house because I don't think we've been back there since the other events happened. Did I talk to you? No. Nothing useful. Do I want no no no, I talked to the I talked to the Chancellor already. I was trying to think if he would have given me more advice. Okay, so I think their house is here. Yes. Do you need more money? Or are you done? Ooh. Okay. So now that we've done the event, we're allowed to donate again, and he wants 20,000. Okay. So can't do that now. To work together, rebuild the town, organize the restoration committee. Okay. You don't have anything new to say. You're boring. I must fix all the roofs in the town. We know that. So, I might as well just keep pumping money into it, because honestly... I don't really need money that badly. Our rocket launcher is a 250 attack power. I don't think it could go higher. And I'm like, this is definitely the boss killer. We're still using starting armor, because <laughs> it's just, it hasn't impacted the gameplay at all. And we put armor on the other characters, because they don't have the HP orb. But it is really funny watching me, like, take spells later in the game. I guess my raw stats are still increasing gradually as we play. 
because he's only taking like 60 from AoE magic. And I'm like, this character has absolutely nothing to counter that other than Orba power. Like, he's legit wearing the starting armor, I'm pretty sure. This is the Reaper's power. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we put some armor on the other characters because they didn't get the, quite the HP total. And sadly, even uh, Girl did not end up surviving, even with the best armor in the game. So arguably, buying armor has not been worth it. Outside of maybe literally one fight where defense mattered. So a little, little disappointing there, but whatever. So I still don't have a clear direction. We talked to a lot of people. I wonder if I could just stumble into what it wants me to do. So let me think about the map a little bit. And then we'll pick a direction from there. So our goal eventually is to probably check out the battle arena. I'm just thinking, do we want to try to find the photosphere first? It's more what I'm thinking about right now. Hmm. So, I mean, I could also go back to Rosetta Town because it's closest to the Whirlpool itself. I might try to check out the Battle Arena first, though. Oh, unless I can't go this way for it. That's right, there's the shallow water that blocks me. Hmm. Oh, what did we do with our golem, by the way? Is it still on that other place? Yeah, we're just gonna auto attack. It doesn't really matter on a preemptive strike. I'm not that worried about dealing damage here. Uh... Yeah, this should be fun. I'm surprised we're outspeeding Hunter. I, I thought Hunter had more speed than Cowboy. I'm actually a little confused by that. Let me check the response after this. Because for the longest time, Hunter was just completely... Oh, that didn't kill. No crits. I'm assuming it's still by the sphere, so I probably want to go find that regardless at some point. And Cowboy getting the free level up. Nice. The question... Oh yeah, his response time finally went above Hunter. Huh. Because for a long time, Hunter was just really hard outspeeding Cowboy. But I th think with the Thunder Rune, it's helped a little bit. Because before he was, I think, at least 5 point. Even with Thunder Rune, he wasn't faster than Hunter. So maybe he's more of like a mid-game scaler for response time. I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Like, that's a new development. He used to always go second. Chat remembers that. It was kind of annoying. Because I would have to use Hunter for items. So I guess those last couple of level ups finally pushed him over. Uh, I'm just going to Prism Ray and then slap the enemy to death. Ooh, counterattack here is actually really good. This might guarantee the kill. So hopefully with our slightly upgraded Prism Ray. Oh, and you miss. Wow. Did you seriously miss with like a 95%? Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? I feel like that's not my fault. Like, isn't it like near max accuracy? How did it whiff? That is just very unlucky. Oh, excuse me. It's not 95. It's 94. I exaggerated. What silliness, chat. Okay, let's go find the robot. We eventually have to go to the Northwest. Yeah, I don't know where a robot is at all. I don't think there's a way we could sail over there. Yeah, I feel like that percentage is an absolute lie. Hmm. So we should look for the photosphere at some point. I'm going to guess Rosetta Stone is... or Town, excuse me. 
is where we have to go to advance the plot if I want the whirlwind. Because or not or whirlpool, because none of them talked about the whirlpool when we're in the other town. So like from a plot perspective, I at least have an understanding of what the game wants me to do. I just have to figure out who specifically advances the plot, and then we'll be fine. Oh, chat, we're gonna teach them about fringing real quick. Because the tri-pillar was over here. I don't remember what was on that island specifically. I want to go back to Timney. It's here. I don't think I need to restore my bullets or anything, so I think I'm good. Funny name, serious spells. You're an individual taste in class. Yeah, right now we have the Angie spell. I could technically make it Mage of Rage. Chan has helped with most of the names. I influence maybe about half. Yeah, we have the basic elements on one side. We got the AoEs on the other. <laughs> we have Angie for Berserk. I do like Shh for the Prevent Magic. Let's tell him to shush. Uh. Alright, okay, so this does not really help our cause. The question is... Where did they say the photosphere landed? They said it was near Arctica. But I can't... get to it, or at least I didn't see it over here. Let me go this way. I see a few for silence, that makes sense. Come on. Land, Prism Ray, I beg of you. There we go. See, we leveled Prism Ray just to make combat faster. Not that I need the damage, I just don't want to do multiple turns. Alright, so I don't see anything of interest over here. Hmm. Yeah, we're playing without a guide, without hints. Oh, there's a bottle I missed. Let's go see what that bottle is. How are they still outspeeding me, by the way? That's kind of crazy. It's not quite like... Weekend and Web of the Century is crazy, but it's still like, come on. Aren't I like five levels over the recommended? Interest captain of trade ships, seek open minded ladies, 18 year older. Oh, never mind. We saw that one before. I got excited. Then I felt immediate disappointment. So there's just kind of a self contained castle over here. Let me make a note of this for later. Castle in southeast, only reachable. Probably by air slash metal bird. So yeah, we have I have not played the I have never played to this point of the game. I played a little tiny tiny bit of it a long time ago. But we're in blind territory. So this will be interesting. Although I would love to skip these encounters if we could. So I am looking forward to anything that avoids encounters. Since running has been very, very, very poorly inconsistent. I think we had, what was that chat? Nine escapes in a row fail? Across like six encounters? It was pretty bad. Hmm. So we'll make ourselves to Rosetta Town. I'll maybe see if I find the Photosphere after we access the other place. Or I might wait for exploration till after we get Metal Bird. Because the game is hinting very heavily I'm going to get flight at some point. And that would make exploration a lot less tedious. Unless there's air encounters, then, you know, never mind then. Uh... I don't think it matters what I do here. I could try to fringe in case they don't die for some reason. Oh, 
I am a little sad you can't rename the fast draw techniques or the guns. I mean, how else are we gonna get classic names like Shooty Bang Bang? No saying JRPG would have air encounters. Hopefully. We, we've played some pretty insane ones before that break the conventional rules. Those upset me. So we'll see. I'm also sad we can't skate on the overworld. Oh, that would save so much time to avoid these encounters. Can I run from this one? Or are you just going to say failed to escape? Oh, that time we, we actually escaped? We did it, Chad. I finally found an area I can run from. Actually, do you have anything new to say, or are you just going to say it makes you feel dizzy? Yeah, you suck. So anyway, let's go this way. <sighs> okay, it was, it was too good to be true to consistently run. Too good. And now I get punished with poison. Oh, I resisted. I actually dodged everything? Wow, I can't believe that. Anyway, I guess I'll just shoot one of them in their stupid base. Uh, let's just Kirk plus plus them. I just want to make sure they die. Oh, that's good. Goodbye, Venom Bear. Anyway, I started blasting pretty much. Alright, so let's hope that somebody in Rosetta Town advances the plot. You know, we're gonna use locational proximity in order to figure out who might talk about it. They have problems here right now. Okay, that's a good sign, so maybe there's something I could do about it. I can just reload ammunition. I have enough to get a restoration upgrade. Best way to control crimes to prevent crimes, not prosecuting criminals. Tell me now if you know of any strange activities. Hmm. Okay, so the monsters in Outer Ocean are tough. Salt the cold eyes of the dragon at the bottom of the vortex. What is, what is this, Final Fantasy IV? Don't care about the dragon. It's always the same. Dragons and monsters. How boring. Wow. She's a big D&D hater, chat. Yeah, this is capped, right? Yeah, I can't get any higher. And I can't upgrade Prism Ray's accuracy either. Okay, I was just curious. I don't think it's worth upgrading Prism Ray again attack-wise. I'm going to save it for the things that also don't really impact my clear. We'll call it side questing. I wonder if there is actually any decent reward for upgrading the town at all, other than making it look pretty. Or if or if all the side quests are like Robotrek, where it's like, here you go, if you spend 20,000, I'll give you a 3k reward. <laughs> that kind of thing. What do you want? Don't mess with me. No, not useful. Mayor says, do you know about the large vortex to the east of here? The strait that joins the inner sea and the outer sea is where the guardian of the oceans, Lucadia, lives. The entrance to his lair is supposed to be somewhere nearby. Rosetta is suffering from a lack of trade. Ships come through here with reports of dragon attacks. Can you look into this matter on behalf of our village? You back again? Oh, I guess the mayor is out of his bed. Huh, okay. It's nice that they upgraded a little bit. So quote the game, we have to go deal with the whirlpool. So I'm looking for something somewhere to advance the plot. Do you have anything new to say? No, there's mentioning dragon. Somebody hinting for me to talk to the mayor, which is fine. Uh, I guess I could talk to the girl. I doubt she has anything plot relevant. Thank you. All I can do is give you these flowers. Oh. Okay, so those improve luck.
I was gonna say, time playing Crusader of Senti with the weird go-karts, I think helps with some of the mobility of this game. Where I gotta let go preemptively to do the turning radius. Um, was there anything to do on this island down here? Like, does Forest Mound lead to the shrine? We were here before with the flowers. A magical machine, it seems inactive. Yeah, see, this is... Okay, so we still haven't figured out how to do anything with this. Hmm. I mean, I can try one thing. Just in case it's activated by the tier, which we just got back recently. Nope. So we still don't know what activates this. So that's kind of in the future. Well, I guess they could just go to the Vortex directly, now that I have the tier. Ken Cannon, we leveled so much that it should just one-shot most enemies, which is exactly what I wanted to do in these normal encounters, since we now have Rocket Launcher to kind of finish things off. I guess at some point, in theory, I could upgrade my weapons on these characters. <laughs> I don't think I'm using the best of weapons, but I, I don't think it so far matters. I think maybe Hunter is. The girl definitely is not. The teardrop shines. Oh. Oh, that was simple. Wow, this is incredible. Lucadia, the guardian of the ocean, is contacting me through the teardrop. It's so strong. I can feel it with my entire body. It's saying... Dot 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 dot. I understand, Lucadia. I'll use the teardrop. What? What's happening, princess? Wowee! What is this? The mystery spot? Oh no. Are we being taken under the ocean? We've been bubble chat. So presumably we have, when in doubt, I go left first. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, I can't go bot that side, okay. Hmm. It's just over there. Oh, that counts as a wall, seriously? That sucks. Oh, are these only going up? There's no way to go back down. Oh, oh, there is here. Okay, good. There's some kind of push puzzle, but I don't know what my goal is. Okay. Oh, well, that's just... Well, that's just rude. I didn't know where the exit was. How is that fair? Okay, so apparently I did have to go along the bottom path here. I thought the bottom path was like, if you messed up, you would go back. Well, okay, let me think about this then. So I don't think I could recover it from that position. Let's try this again. So far, no encounters, which is good. I actually really don't want them. So... I could move this over if I wanted to. The question is... I need to somehow move this one out of the way. So these are ones where I can fix them if I really need to. So the problem is this one think is if I could somehow move this to the right, I could move this to the right. But then if I could do that, can I just win? What stops me from winning? Move this one slightly over. Cause I can't oh, because I can't move that one down. Hmm. 
feels like a little bit of a catch-22. Let me think about this. So if I can move... This one up won't work because I have to be in a position I would win already. If I can move this one left, somehow I could win. This one I can't do anything with. I obviously can't push the other one right. Uh... I have to think about this. I'm not great with puzzles. So I, I've opened enough that I can think I could do this. If I do this, can I just slip through here? Because it has enough of a gap. Okay, it does. That's good. Oh, did I find the did I find the exit already? Oh, I think I want to go back to the beginning. Cause I didn't get any items from this. Yeah, I'm not great at puzzles, Rom. I don't like puzzles. I don't usually think in- I think the problem is, like, I don't think in half increments. Like, I'm used to them going, like, whole tiles, like, doing a lot of tile puzzles. Okay, so there are encounters after the halfway point. I'm probably gonna use Eek just to go back to the beginning. Because we- again, we picked up literally zero items, and I am kind of curious what's here. Let me do that. Hopefully this will kill. He missed the 99%? Are you serious? Wow. That is so unlucky. Wow, thanks game. Yeah, that was really unfair. The fight would have been over. At least the XP is okay. That was my other complaint about the other dungeons. The XP is just terrible. Good luck with Lunar. We might play Lunar at some point. Might put it up to a chat vote. But bye, Major Rage. <laughs> no, not more crest scraps. I can't do anything with them. Alright, let me teleport back to the beginning. I, I some I think I somehow went literally the right way on the first try. I picked zero wrong turns and ended up making progress. So what Wait, seriously, that's all that's over here? Just wow. I think that deserves a slow clap. What is that level design? It doesn't even lead to an item. It's just like, nah, I'm not going to bother doing anything useful. So how do I get over there then? Oh, there are encounters here. How did I avoid encounters for that long? I mean, it probably wasn't active in the puzzle room, but like I still didn't hit a single encounter on the way here. That's madness. Please don't whip your... Oh, did I use rocket launcher by accident? Oops, I thought I did prism ray. Ironically, Rocket Launcher with a 70% chance has whiffed less this session than the 99% gun. We'll take that. We don't need all of our Rocket Launcher shots anyway. I only realistically need about five. So how do we get to that one? Okay, so there were no other paths. This game is just trolling. So... There's just immediately an up here. Let me check this. That explains some of it. I think it's skating time, though. Oh gosh, shout another lucky card. So as long as we skate, it doesn't seem to increment what I'll call the step counter. So for those not aware, in a lot of games, they just choose an arbitrary number when you load into certain dungeons. And after that number hits zero, it triggers an encounter. This does not count towards the step counter. So I could do this all day long if I need to. Okay, so the puzzle does not stay solved, it seems. Bonk. 
about the lottery tickets from Suikoden. Oh no. Oops, I forgot. Let's do this to go the right way. So, there was a path going upwards, but what is the thing literally in front of the save point? Is just it's for an item, or is this actually also progress somehow? Yeah, I think for the most part, while well, we're in Dragon Shrine officially, I don't really care about experience. I mean, I guess I could do one more fight at some point. There's just a Blazing Inferno. I can't really do anything with it. I don't have like an ice spell equivalency. Oh, there are fights here. Uh, I'll rob one of them. Water gun. What are you like, polywag? Why are you shooting me with water gun? It actually survived that? That's kind of crazy. Well, good thing I used a real spell to do damage here. Goodbye, weird Joker face Naga thing. There we go. Antidote acquired, okay. Strange device seals the door, so presumably I need something. Maybe we'll get like ice breath or something. Because I don't. I mean, we have almost all the tools needed to explore dungeons, according to this. But none of these seem like they would be relevant. I could do this to see where it teleports me. It just puts me back at the beginning of the room. Which is sometimes useful. The almighty bonk chat. Look at us go. See, if I go diagonal, I could choose directions like this. Look how good that was. So nothing new there. Oh, that was such a good skate. Um. So if I move the top one over to the right, I could also push the one left and then up. So that'll work. Just in case there are encounters here, I'll do this just to get closer. More spells that I can't use? <laughs> I think I literally couldn't even use them if I wanted to. Hmm. So the question is more, how far do I move this one first? I guess I move this one here? So I could get by it? Fortunately, no encounters. So many spells. I can't do anything with them. We need the advanced magics at some point. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's do... I think I gotta do something like this. Oops. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I move this one enough just to get by it. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can't fit beyond that. Um, wait, how am I supposed to do this room then? Oh, maybe I could have moved it one less. Do this. That's also kind of the unfortunate thing, because it doesn't do, like, a tile-based movement. It's really easy to push it too far. It's not like Link to the Past, where it'll stop at, like, every tile movement. It will just keep going. Oh. Wait, it actually... It actually kept me there? I was not expecting that. Huh. So if I use the stopwatch, I don't teleport back to the entrance, but it fixes the puzzle. I think I gotta do, like... There we go. I was just being very finicky with me before. Just 
Shining Cape acquired. Oh, so I didn't even need to buy her armor. We just got her better armor regardless. Uh, well, that's fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say overall then, maybe giving her an armor wasn't worth it, given that I just got it, like, right after it was useful. Probably could have just let her die again. Oh well. I mean, I'll use any armor the game gives me at this point. I think that's fair game. But maybe I'll stop buying armor for the rest of the game then. So we need another tool, presumably, to pass. So this one I have to think about a little bit. I mean, like, if I push this one up a little bit. The question is, is if I only clip, like, the bottom right of it, is that good enough to move it? So, like, if I do this, for example, would I be able to move that over there? I can still get around this way, right? Yeah, I can, if I want to. Why didn't that one make a sound when I did it? Did I miss it somehow? Did... Wasn't that where the tile was? I guess I moved it one down too far. That's annoying. It's one of those ones where I knew the solution, but the character just pushed it too far. <laughs> Because again, it, it slides really fast. I have to like let go repeatedly. It's pretty awkward actually. So I have to line it up with this maybe? There we go. A vase acquired. Magic vase. When used by girl, it produces endless flow of water. You just put out difficult fires. Oops, let's not do that, let's do this. No encounters for me, chat. Look at that, look at all those encounters I'm not having. We have like an almost sane version of encounter rate right now. I guess I'm ready for the boss. I leveled once. Sort of. Girl is like two levels under, which is funny. How much XP do I need to level in general? 6,000, that's not bad. Three battles-ish. Or for the other character. Wow, that's really tedious. Right, chat? Wow, that's annoying. Yeah. I like to think it's not even a magic boss. She just, like, reaches over to the many pools of water to get rid of this. I mean... Isn't it easier if... I guess... Does it matter what side I do this on, I guess? And I have to do something like... Oh, I have to do more than once. That's kind of annoying. I guess just to do this first is fine. Duplicator acquired, that's fine. Hmm. Is it easier to, it might be easier to do it from the other side. So if I move this one over, then I move this one left. Should be good enough. As long as I don't push it too far. Uh... Oh, hello, orb. Welcome, warriors. And the innocent one. 
I am Lucadia. I am the eternal flutist whose music permeates the oceans from the depths of the dragon shrine. Flutist, really? The teardrop in its rightful hand called you over here. Mother has been defeated and is now my nourishment. Yet the dreams of the demon race are not over. Tell me, Lucadia, what are they planning to do now? How is Siegfried going to destroy the guardians? The ray line. It's the artery of life which connects all of us together, maintains all life on the planet. Do you, do you mean ley line? Do you mean a ley line, not ray line? After our strength had weakened, we decided to combine our strength through a device the elves had left behind. From inside the L pyramid, the network began to pump life energy throughout Philgaia. And if we sever this ray line, we can clean this planet for good. I'm not sure about this, Zeke. But here goes nothing. Harkin! I came for the big fish, the Sea Guardian. But this is a pleasant surprise. Always wanted to fight you again. We were meant for each other, you and I. We were born to fight. On guard, let's see what you've got. I feel like this is another battle where we don't really make progress, so I don't think I'm gonna bother debuffing her. Or er, using the triple, I mean, on her. Uh, I'll just shoot her in the face. We'll use Trickster and see if the game gives us anything. Ooh, not a lot of damage. Survey says, has an item. Finally. Right, Chad? It only took like literally like seven bosses to finally give us an item. Uh, I could risk a rocket launcher shot. I'm gonna do a twin orbs first though. I'll do meteor drive. Oh no, no, let's keep using trickster. Now I'm gonna fringe the hunter. Probably could have increased the accuracy of Twin Orbs a little bit. Yeah, so it did just as much as the gun did, which is fine. I don't need it to necessarily do more. I'm keeping him out of kill range. Yeah, let's use some bullets just to stall. And then I'm just gonna use Fringing on herself. She should survive. Again, this is building up meter, so we always hit the rocket launcher. I time it did a little less, which is unfortunate. Guilty blade, oh no. Didn't do a lot of damage. Still can steal. Yeah, our odds of stealing are garbage. I wonder if it's based off of luck or something. Because it is just not triggering at all. I'm trying not to kill the boss before we're done, just for clarity. Like, I think at this point I could just straight up kill the boss with Cowboy. Please steal an item, come on. There we go, we use the power of Dave. Yeah, definitely at this point I could do whatever I want. I don't think it matters. She's doing very little damage, I would like to state. Like, she's getting destroyed by us missing the shot over and over. That time it did more than the pistol. So it definitely has some potential for big damage. Seriously? What is that, like four failures in a row? Come on, game. The boss damage is also hilariously bad. I wonder if that's on purpose. Like, think about high, how high the damage was from the, the golem compared to this boss. I don't even feel like healing. I'm just gonna defend. This boss is barely doing anything to us. Come on, steal, 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 steal. Oh, this is the first time we missed with it. Okay, I don't care. I'm still not gonna heal that. Please steal. 
Is she gonna die from taking trickster damage before we get the item? <laughs> this is so sad. I'm now making everybody block. This is so sad, Chad. I just want one item. Please? Holy. Attain item from boss, challenge impossible. Why? Why even put a steel move in the game if it fails like this? Have you ever had a game where thief abilities failed this bad? Like this, I've lost almost half of my MP for chat clarity. I'm literally at 52 out of 100 right now. Holy. Tales games? Oh, not like this. I have not played a Tales game where it failed this many times. Not even close. At this point, I'm actually genuinely concerned she's gonna die before we get the item. That's so sad. If I fail again, I'm just killing her. I'm literally at max meter. I hit max meter before we stole. Alright, I'm ending this fight. Waste of time. I mean, he can still use trick. You know what? I'll accelerate the trickster. How's that? Teach everybody about fringing real quick. <laughs> what can you do, chat? You can't say I didn't try. But I think it's time for her to die. I was gonna say, what Tails game are you thinking of, Rob, where you saw more than 10 consecutive fails at thieving? I can't think of one offhand. Let's use Fringing. Come on. I feel like this boss is probably at like the like one more ro yeah, I was gonna say one more rocket might kill. I literally killed the boss before we got steel. That's so sad. I I don't know. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put big doubt, Rob. Really big doubt. Ugh. And things like Zillia or Destiny or Berseria. Thieving was not super consistent, but it was not that bad. I could at least get the item within five tries every time. This one, not even close. I guess I was wrong about you, baby. Go back to the ship with the blow from my Asriel. Wow, and then the boss gave us no XP. That was totally not worth it. What? I can't move. We're gonna continue this later, sweetheart. So they were after the ray line. Okay, I'm just gonna shrug at Rob on that one. It's not easy to destroy an entire planet, even for the demons. Shaman child. Use my powers to defend your planet. Triton rune acquired. Her sword technique looks just like my fast draw, but it looks a little different. Fast draw hint acquired. Um. A defense rune? That's what you gave me? Disgusting. Disgusting chat. I'm eking out of here. Time to leave. Alright, so now we're allowed to go out here. Auto flowing in water is the message. South of here is the Isle of Conflict, where fighters level 30 or higher compete. I guess I'm level 30. Hmm.
What's this over here? Yeah, that was just so sad. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll go back to Tails. Just haven't been feeling it recently. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. That's gonna do damage to me. So I was really, really not a fan of Symphonia. And that's technically the next game on the list if I want to do it. But I'll probably skip Symphonia since, as I said before, I'm not a fan at all. Get rid of that enemy real quick. Okay, that XP was somewhat worth it. It's just sad that it's barely on par with the dungeon we had earlier, but, you know, it's kind of worth it. So what's over here? Seems like there's a town or something over here. Replay Eternia? Yeah, I don't think so. Item in the floating bottle, duplicator acquired. Yeah, I, I really hated Symphonia. Zestiria is more like an ironic enjoyment. It's so bad that I enjoyed it. It is not a good game though. I'll be real with you. I really, really dislike Symphonia. Like, it, it basically made- it was one of the few I stopped playing midway through. I definitely got tired of that game. Yeah. Hopefully this one-shots, but kind of unlikely. Oh, it still does! Oh yeah, that's good then. Yeah, there's like a hundred and something tutorials in Zestaria. It's insanely bad. Askar Village? Oh, this is where we were that one time a long time ago? Hmm. I didn't realize we teleported here before. Alright, we were definitely in this town before. Let's go and use the inn, wherever it is. I don't remember. See, that's the problem with teleports. I don't have a sense of where things are next to each other. I think that's also why I'm not a big fan of teleports in-game. If that's like your first movement option, Especially in, like, dungeons. I don't have, like, a frame of reference for how far I've moved relative to other locations. I think the problem is, like, I literally never had a reason to open the map before. And the way the teleports work didn't show me where I was going relative to other places. So that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, there's, like, the stone ritual thing over there. I guess I need to find that later. Anyway. Yeah, I might end up playing Lunar Silver Star Story soonish. That's not... I wouldn't play, like, I don't think the series. I'd probably just play the one that's on the PS1. Yeah, let's do some generic attacks here. So we know our destination is to the east. There's an island potentially to the south. I don't know if it's worth going to the island yet, since I just hit 30. Rip all my MP from earlier. Only 600? What is going on with the rewards? Hello? Why was that so bad? 
Game please. We were just talking about how you were doing better with rewards. Did I somehow end up on the inner sea or something? Guess I did. I mean, I felt like I was on the outside of everything, but here we are. There's Malama. If I missed anything. No. Quick sleep at the end. Yeah, I do think in general, though, I will, like, with the exception of, like, one or two series, I think I will be moving away from turn base in general. As usual. They're not my preference of games. This game's okay with the turn base. I'm more interested in it for the plot than the combat, for sure. I'm surprised this did not count as the outer sea, given how on the outside I am, but okay. I'm looking for bottles and stuff too, because we did see there was like a duplicator. We did end up finding the photosphere, which I'll probably find at some point. It might be worth exploring later. Can I just run? I don't think I want to do this encounter. Isolated guild? Okay. Maybe this is the rebel guild? Northwest on the outside. I don't know how to describe it. We're not really given map coordinates. Would you guys like to try my new potion? Sure. Here's some taste and smell spreads through your mouths. This is the magic guild. You can assemble advanced magic here. Try it. Oh. Revive in full HP. Hey, we found the advanced magic place. Unknown to enemy, wind attack group, thunder group, attack magic all enemies. Holy magic. Oh, uh, chat, I'm gonna need a lot of names. All seven atta attribute attacks enemies? Hmm. Double attack power? Alright, we're getting this one immediately. I'm gonna leave them what they are called for the moment, but I do need a lot of- I do need a lot of names from- Oh, decrease encou encounter, please. Yes. Oh, you were so late in the game. Why are you so late in the game? <laughs> so we're gonna get the spells that I won, and then we can revisit this. Prevent fatal blows, bomb counterattack ally. I don't really care about counterattacks in this game. Warp to a no town. Okay, that's a good one to pick up. So we're just gonna get all the spells that I won, and then we could rename. The chat feels abilities come to mind. I'm probably not going to use the restore ability that much. But it's not. I might as well as take it. There's no downside. I definitely want the AoE heal. I've been complaining about that for at least four bosses now. So many different ones. So let's see, we still have 15 more spells we can assign, which is kind of funny. Uh, definitely want a holy spell at some point. So many spells to learn. Kill him with rainbow, there you go. This is going to be real fun. 
renaming everything and moving everything in a way that makes sense to me. We have the evil spell unlock chat. Maybe we don't need to come back here. Honestly, I have so many unused spell clips. <laughs> like, look at this. I have 10 more. I could probably use most of these. I don't know what the dot 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 question mark is. I guess I could learn it. Right, vortex, whatever. So many spells, chat. So many. Seven more to go. Holy. Random magic effect, lower HP, ability of enemies. Seal and band area group. Water damage. I want water damage. I don't know if I care about stuff like seal. I, I just prefer to take it in the face. I don't feel like taking away their abilities. I'd rather see what they do. Um, that one's probably just like a... Demi or whatever. And again, I don't really care for those abilities. Random magic effect, I think I'll take just for chat. It feels like such a troll pick. Randomizer. Oh, there we go. We'll do that when we're bored. I think I got everything I wanted then. Unless I really want an absorb spell. Which isn't terrible. I guess it's a way to heal without wasting heal time. I could still learn four more spells. Oh, I guess I could learn Revive. So that's probably good to pick up at some point. Yeah, chat, we're gonna need you to name a whole bunch of things. Full Restore. What does Lock Status State mean? Does it just mean prevent status ailments? Like, is, is that just a weird way of wording it? Or does it mean, like, if I have a status ailment, I can't get rid of it? Yeah, let's get the full heal. That's probably fine. Avoid exhaustion. I haven't even seen this effect occur ever, so I don't even know what that is. And why I would want to get rid of it. Reflect magic, guard. I don't care about my defensive power. I could just... Reflect magic. Do I want to just nullify anything is the question. Hmm. I mean, I guess if I really feel desperate, I'll increase defense. I love that I got basically everything I wanted in one try. I don't know if I care about Absorb MP. We have so many magic carrots. I don't think this matters, to be honest. Maybe erasing their attributes would be good in case they have buffs later. I'm assuming this is just a debuff. So that, I guess, would be good. So yeah, we have a million spells to rearrange. I don't even know where to begin with this. Also, look how many more spell slots I have. Is there something beyond the tier that we have? Ooh, revive is really expensive. Hmm. Bit unfortunate. Let's leave some of these here. I don't think I care about Angie anymore. Where's the one where they get buffed? I guess I could get rid of Dave if I really want to. Well, Dave could still technically be useful. I went wide open at the top because I'm more likely to go to that spell in boss battles. Eek should be somewhat high up there. Oh, Hyper is the other one I'm looking for. Um, So all these cost 
15. So put some of my support spells here. I don't think most of these matter otherwise. Put all my AoEs down here. Angie, I don't think it was that useful. I could probably get rid of Angie if I really wanted to. Doubling attack power of allies seems like it will finally make Hunter decent. Honestly, most of our basic spells are probably good enough on the side here. Do something like this, maybe? So many abilities. I still think it's worth having the basic spells. It's just more do I feel like... Do I feel like getting rid of some of these? Like, honestly, Angie's probably the only one I would consider getting rid of. Like, just straight up. I just don't see a reason I would use it anymore. Let's get rid of it. Like, the other ones I could at least justify, but this one, removing my ability to do damage is just bad. I think I'd rather have another spell. I guess I could do the MP Absorb. I'd rather have MP Absorb than I would Angie. I could name the other spell Angie if I wanted to. Technically, the spell lives on, because I think even though we... Even though we removed it from our... Cool, it should still name this spell that. Yeah, I probably want the more useful abilities at the top. Like, Hyper is just used occasionally on bosses. Let me put my boss stuff over here. I think it matters as much. We need, like, a good... A bit MP drain at the top. Is I'm desperate for MP. Um... Rest is probably fine. Yeah, let's try something like this. Living here is our mythological like searching with higher forms of magic. Now I want to share what I've discovered with everyone. I'm going to move in my lab to Aldehyde. I believe there's no limit to the power of elemental magic. I'm willing to work even harder to prove this. Okay, so now that I've talked to him, it sounds like he's going to open up a shop in the main town, which is good. So, I would say worth it. I now have an ability to potentially avoid all encounters. Oh, does that not work on the overworld? Maybe not. Okay. Good to know, I guess. So, that was worth it. What's this? Demon's Lab. Hmm. Guess I could go there. Sure, let's go there. His sword techniques look just like mine. Who is he? Why can't I remember? The battles. What happened to my body? Rejection of the body by the consciousness. You think too much, my Lady Harkin. You are so beautiful, yet... 
Get back, you sleaze. Only the souls of the warriors I've devoured sleep in my bosom. Do you want to know what that means? Those words are too strong for me. I came to serve you and protect the darkness, Tyr. I don't need your dumb ideas. All I need is my blade. As you wish. Please take care of the darkness, Tyr. You and the darkness here share a similar beauty. I don't mind getting in some fights here, but I think I'll be skipping them if they're not worth XP. They're not worth at least, like, 3k. I might just skip. Prisoner, which suspiciously looks like Larva. Trying to learn a new technique. Um... I guess I could try using new spells. Oh, not paralysis. Ah, right, the damage was decent. Girl leveled, nice. Now we can use her Restore to get rid of status ailments. Yeah, I'm gonna try hitting them with Rainbow. I wanna see what Rainbow does. Again, chat, we need a lot of names. Oh no, not an elevator. Oh, I'm having Terranigma PTSD. Oh, don't make me do anything with that elevator, please. I don't want, I don't want. <laughs> Uh, I might reduce the counters though. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We haven't seen all the enemies here. We should at least see all the enemies before I just skip them all. Yeah, let's rainbow one of them, see what it does. Wow, he did zero? Seriously? Wow. Can't make that up, chat. That was terrible. So he's lucky shot. Okay, we didn't unlock the move, sadly. Cowboy also leveled there. Nice. I see a chest. How much do I need to level again? Oh, I need like a hilariously high amount. Yeah, let's uh, go back to being invisible. So I'm still going to teach people about fringing because it's cheaper than AoE heal. AoE heal is mostly just for mid ba battle. Does that combine with invisible? That's kind of sick. So there's another platform over there. If invisible turns off every single time I go through a door, I'm not going to bother. Okay, there we go. That's what I was worried about. Mission berry acquired. Energy saber. Oh, it's for a cowboy? Oh, that's disappointing. That's fine. He's really not going to be meleeing that much. Ooh, it did not last for very long. And then as soon as it wore off, we got attacked. Nice. Hmm. Well, I might as well attack and see how much damage we do. Use her... Do we have an all attack? Attack magic, all enemies. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, new technique. Oh, so we learned Guilty Blade from her directly. 
That did decent damage. That also did okay damage wise. They somehow survive. This one absorbs some MP. But yeah, really not worth leveling, sadly. Let's use Fringing. As I said before, I think it's a stronger heal outside of combat. Jinberry's there. Potion Berry. Was that a puzzle that I just went through? <laughs> hmm. I'm missing some items. I wonder if it's worth going backwards to explore. Hmm. It's a shame we haven't found another weapon. Let's uh let's go back actually. There was another path outside of this. Oh, I'm loving that I press one button and the game plays itself there. That feels good. I want to check what's over here before we go further. I never went down this ladder, right? If it's not worth it, I'll just reset. Bazooka acquired. High performance missile. Well, sadly, I don't, I'm not going to go back and level it, but we'll hold it for now. So we might have an alternative to rocket launcher. So not helpful yet, but good that I went back for it. Too much you get on MP drain on a random creature. Ooh, that is a sound effect. And we didn't get any MP from that? That really sucks. Holy, at least give me one MP back and make it cost nothing. MP drain, disappointing, but not unexpected to be honest. And another potion berry, which is good. I might have to just ban that spell just from the sound effect alone. That was atrocious. Yeah, I wonder if there are any other weapons I could have picked up, or if we just have Energy Blade on a character that will basically never use auto attack. Unless I feel like it. Still don't know what the purpose of that floor is, or if it's anything else. Hmm. Guess we'll resave. So I'm assuming, like, base... I didn't really read the dialogue, but I guess based off of what the chief said in the other village we went to, the Baskar village, he was talking about courage, love, and hope. I wonder if they're, like, the next things we have to find. The darkness tears can lead Phil Guy will be ours. Goodbye, humans. Oh, hello. Hmm. There's some raid these. Attack this. MP drain Witch Doctor for MP? I assume Witch Doctor is MP. A witch in the name. As it does like a dive kick. Nope. 
Witch Doctor, of course, is a melee character. That makes total sense. I think martial artists when I hear Doctor all the time. Damn, this thing still isn't dead. The dive kick is real. So yeah, we found something that doesn't seem related to where they were trying to get us to go. But it seems to also be plot related, so was I supposed to go here first? I'll ever use one of the magic carrots. We have 18. We should be good. You came to take the darkness too. Do you really think you can? Maybe. Hmm. As long as I keep Prism Rang, I think the combat is just kind of over. Shock Sword Attack Group. Oh, we got a stronger version of an AoE. Oh, that's actually somewhat useful. I should see if I can rearrange these abilities and remove Psycho Crack. Honestly, Psycho Crack has literally no point to being used at this at this point in the game anymore. I think I used it for a couple times early on. I wasn't really impressed with the damage. It means I don't miss an attack. But at this point, Meteor Dive costs the same but does, like, double damage. Hope Amp kills these. Nice. I think it was auto-attack here to save ourselves some MP. Oh, he really got another turn. That's kind of annoying. So close. At least we're getting a lot of boss healing items for later, I suppose. Terminal will retrieve information from the demon archives. You want to turn it on? Sure. Either analysis complete, demon gate correcting vector, gate generator at 20%. So I think we forgot to do that in the other room. I think we got to go back for it. So they're calling it a demon gate. Discover the energy of the teardrop could be reversed to create an anti-life force. The experiment continues. So I'm assuming based off of what's happening with Hunter, uh, probably his wife slash love interest was killed, but her consciousness was restored in a demon body. And the other thing is like a big scientist demon who's manipulating her. I'm guessing that's where the plot is going with this. We scientists are working on the latest weapons. You'll be our next guinea pigs. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what puzzle it takes to open the door, Rob. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be something like, gee, it's, it's a demon gate. No one will guess what the password is, and the password is just demon gate. It, it would not surprise me. These guys are kind of dumb. Uh, honestly, these are kind of expensive spells, and we don't seem to get anything from it. I like our healing on one side. I'll just use Rob on them, honestly. I don't need to do that much more damage. Although, given that they're using Fire Breath, I probably should use Cryo, but whatever. Too late now. Oh, double kill. Doesn't matter. Gotta fight fire with fire. Yep. We're throwing Rob at them. Wow, Rob didn't kill them with Meteor Dive. This enemy's kind of tanky. The fact that they took, like, more than two real damage spells is kind of silly. Four potion berries for later. That's good. I, I want those with Mystic, potentially. Please choose a parameter. X parameter. Display data. Let's execute selection. Enter. Data display. Seven out of the eight golems have been retrieved. Limit working golems to the front line. The model Barbarossa was found to be uncontrollable. Terminated all revival data and disposed of it in the desert. Much concern for the golems still posing a threat. Should 
change data. Execute selection, sure. Data changed. Please choose a parameter. I don't, what, what did that even do? Say terminal off. Okay. It was giving me choices. I didn't really understand them, but sure. Research with the teardrop has led to the discovery of an ultimate weapon against the guardians. Cool. Hmm. Getting real tired of these fights. Let's just go ahead and nuke these. Maybe I just do a normal Kirk on them just in case. Oh, let's Kirk plus plus. Just in case Prism Ray misses for no reason. Oh, it actually got a double kill. Nice. Uses DOS. Oh, see, that did real damage. Hello. That was a good delete button. Deleted chat. Thermal retrieve data. Do you want to turn it on? Sure. Rival of the Underwater Golem. Leviathan is incomplete. Ammunition equipped. Ready for battle. So, what do you want me to do? ID code? <laughs> I, I'm assuming one of the terminals was supposed to tell me the password. I'm literally just gonna enter Demon Gate. Just to see if I could avoid going back to that other one and figuring out what it really wanted me to do. Is it just Demon Gate? Of, co of course it is. <laughs> Maybe, maybe don't call your big secure door password the same as the project name. I mean, maybe don't. I mean, maybe don't do that. <laughs> ID code match found. <laughs> Just little, little hint there, uh, scientists. See, chat, this is why you got to update your passwords. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not going back to that other room. Yeah, what what dummies? I'm assuming one of the options there would have been like, the password to the main project is Demon Gate or something. But yeah, we skipped that phase apparently. I guess that was technically a sequence break, question mark, because I don't think we got the hint from the password or from the other computer on the far right. We we got something unrelated when I did it, but it didn't really help us. What's happening? The teardrop is resonating. It's as if it's afraid. Because it's a fake, it contains the darkest of souls within it. Harkin, we meet again. And this time, we share a common sword technique. Many tales we have shared, but the warrior needs no words. Let our swords do the talking, she says with a sigh. She doesn't have a sword. So this is just a rematch of what we did earlier. We could just twin orb her repeatedly. I'll still try to trickster her a little bit. Let's tell her she's wide open. Is she gonna do new abilities or just be weak the whole time? I'm curious. I mean, that was good damage. Magnifang is new. How much is that gonna do? Eh, not that much. I might just give up on stealing. I don't think this is happening. I maybe could have raised luck before this point. Because I don't know what his current luck score is. I guess I'll do another shot. I could just... Can I do that mid-battle? No, I can't do a mid-battle. Unfortunate. I like one or two more times. I'm going to go for fringing. That's not who I wanted it to heal. That's actually pretty annoying that that happened. Okay, so we missed for the first time. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I'm stealing whatever Harkin has. I'm gonna give up. 
I might have to use accelerator accelerator on him so he doesn't die, which is kind of annoying. Because I did miss input the heal. Um just in case this character takes extra holy damage, I might as well just use Dave. I feel like fighting the Dark Knights is probably gonna have holy weakness. So I'm gonna try Saint on them plus Dave and see how much damage we do. Okay, I think it built up enough meter that we should be good here. So let's just do some lock-ons with Rocket Launcher. We're going to... It's just Meteor Dive her repeatedly. I'll get one group heal in. With, uh, Remedy. So it doesn't matter who she targets, I should be back at decent health. Okay, decent damage. Eh, damage was mediocre there. Okay, that healed a thousand each. That's negating her entire turn. So this battle is not that much harder, and I have much better abilities compared to just before. So she's just kind of dead. I can see if I cut her HP in half if it actually works. And I can switch to Hyper, maybe, to double damage. I'm not even gonna bother healing that. That doesn't do enough damage. But yeah, I think it's GG for her at this point. I don't think she could survive this. She might even just be dead in the next Rocket Launcher, to be honest. Like, Rocket Launcher damage is insane. Let's see if this actually does anything. Oh, of course. I'm just gonna go for the one shot on this boss right now. So we're gonna go ahead and arm lock. I'm going to. You know what? I'll kill her with Guilty Blade. That feels appropriate. And then I'm gonna use Saint on her. See okay, how this goes. So she used her Scythe on me, which did basically zero damage. So this might be GG for her, Chad. I don't see her surviving this turn. Especially not after Hyper. Ooh, she took almost 5,000, and then Saint comes in for the finish? Yeah! Dunked her. What have I witnessed? You witnessed your incompetency, Lady Harkin. You got destroyed. 3,400 experience acquired. Hunter is leveled. Now I could arguably go to the other tournament place thing. Oh, look, they converted back to a human. Oh no, who would have seen this potentially coming? Hunter dot 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 exclamation marks. And away she goes. Imagine the scientist took her. Oh, there he is. We cannot give you the darkness tier or Lady Hawkin. You have to come after me if you want them. Bye, random scientist. So, what was my revenge all about? I should have known. That sword technique. Astral hint acquired. The real fool who couldn't face reality was me. Dot, 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 dot. You probably already know, but I'll tell you anyway when I'm ready. Uh, at least the game is like, yeah, you probably figured it out. At, at least the game acknowledges that, right, chat? Terminal retrieve information. Do you want to turn it on? Sure. Priority one, recovery of the... The cod dingle. Please don't call your items dingles. That was sealed by the Guardians. <laughs> just... She-Girl's father, maybe. I can't... How am I supposed to take that seriously if we're talking about Dingle? <laughs> like, come on. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? I almost teleported out, chat. I almost teleported out. Sneaky, sneaky. I saw what you did there. You thought you were going to hide those chests from me. What's in here, by the way? Oh, just bullet clips. I'm disappointed now. Anyway, let's eke out of here. <laughs> Between the Phoenix Wright and the Super Dingle, we a lot of Dingle. Kind of. So, that 
just kind of happened. I, I just kind of found the plot arbitrarily. I just was thinking it was a bonus dungeon, so I went there. Oh gosh, we could get another spell. I, I really don't need them, actually. I think I legitimately don't need any more spells for the rest of the game. Like, I could just beat the game with this, for sure. So I'm now in the upper right. I eventually want to land somewhere where I can sleep. It might be worth teleporting, but how does it work if I teleport? And I was like on a boat at the time. Where does it put the boat? I think I want blast shot. Or oh, I could just learn this ability. You know what? I'm just gonna Kirk Plus Plus. I'm gonna go with the old classic. Brutal attack. If it doesn't do like 600, it's not brutal. Yeah. Not very aptly named. So yeah, we have a we have a place we could go to the south. Oh, Cryo is used on us. Oh no. I guess in theory I could learn the other spells to always rename them. Ooh, that did very little damage, but it was good enough to kill something. So I guess it served its purpose. Get a regular gunshot in here. Let's try to learn a new tech. Just do some normal strikes, I guess, for now. Do we have enough to enhance Aldehyde's restoration another stage? But we also now have a gun that is probably worth doing that a bit more than Aldehyde. So unless Aldehyde is like guaranteed to give me something crazy, doesn't seem very relevant at the moment. Revive Fruit acquired. That's actually good, because I think we used one earlier. Uh, let's go to this area. Why was it zooming in so much over there? Was there something underwater? I'd like to not have this fight. Thank you. Right? Like, why else is it zooming in so much here? Hmm. Snow Ravine. This is what exactly? The white of snow covers and cleanse. Oh, the white of snow covers and cleanses the evil. My power of snow. Provided to you, sorcerers and warriors, if you wish to cleanse Phil Gaia. Oh, did I just find a random guardian? Ice rune acquired? Oh, okay. I didn't have any hints for this, but you know, I got rewarded for exploring, so I'll take that. So this gives a little bit of everything, but does it give more than what the Thunder Rune gives currently? No. Does it give more than what, what Hunter is using currently? It does. Ooh. Because I don't think I care about his raw damage. But even then, Ice Rune is damage and its tankiness. And its faster response time and parry. Okay. I think Hunter got a pretty big upgrade there. So he's now going first again, and he's tankier. I love random things that we find. Look at that, chat. I got rewarded for exploring. We still have that mystery castle. Let's try to go there. I'm sure there's, like, bottles in the ocean I haven't seen still. But we found a couple, which is better than zero. Oh, that's where we could potentially clunka clunka across. Yeah, where is clunka clunka? Gotta find clunka clunka at some point. Tom Burger Sand says, I love that Hunter has the worst luck. Just absolutely the worst. We'll agree. Hmm. So I guess I could explore a little more over here, but I think we need Clunka Clunka to do anything over here. Hmm. 
So I could land here to come back here. Oh, we found Klunka. I guess that answers the question. Klunka was here the whole time, chow. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, did I soft block with Klunka? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, there we go. I was like, it was not, there was like one specific angle I could walk at to get out of that for clarity. So there's still that other area over there I didn't see how to get to. So let's for now heal with Klunka. Oops. Oh, wait, that's right. That was this area. Uh... I just want to get to a town. You were the merchant stall. I remember now too late. I could in theory get a weapon upgrade there, but I feel like we've... I feel like we've gotten past the point of the game where it's relevant. If I got this far without the weapon upgrades, it's probably fine. I mostly just want to restore my MP and then go back to boat sailing. The question is, do I... Is it worth taking the slow clunka clunka? Or should I have just teleported and then try to sail back to where I was? That's the question I asked myself. Okay, so we found court scene. We'll just become a stopover, blah, blah, blah. Refill our ammo. Perfect. So I'm at 46,000. So I could, in theory, upgrade the other one. If Bazooka scales really hard, I'll level it. I wouldn't mind having another rocket launcher alternative, but honestly, rocket launcher is pretty powerful. The fact it seems to kill bosses in like five hits is just kind of silly. I'll talk to the mayor in case there's anything else to do here. You visit Old Man Zephyr. If you leave the beach south of Quartzine, the lab is on the bay to the west. All right, so we now got confirmation about where the lab is. So we'll go there eventually. How good is this? Only 20? I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. I think I'm just going to hold my money for now. I think we have enough to beat the game. I'm not going to worry about throwing money into the arms. I feel like that's a big money pit at this point. We have a boss killer. We have an AoE. If that raised by like 35, I think I would care a bit more. But only 20. Let's say I get 10 upgrades. It's still barely better than the other one. And potentially that'll cost us like another 60,000. I'm definitely not interested in. If not more. They're saying something was to the south of us here. So we're kind of going this way by boat anyway. I may want to check it out. Hmm. So, I mean, I, I guess I'll go there. Eventually, I want to go back to that battle arena place that they kept mentioning. But since I'm here, I might as well just keep going since we are just sailing around arbitrarily. Oh, that was the sacred shrine. That's right. We don't need that. Hello, bottle. And I'm floating in the water. Another crest. I don't need those. <laughs> right, Chad? I really, really, really don't need those. Um... Hmm. It feels like there should be something here. Let's explore a little more. We're finding cats and mushrooms. And the game really wants to make sure. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I don't need any more spells. In fact, I want to get rid of several. We already have it. We now have advanced magic, which is good enough. Because arguably we would have had like 20 something spells and not had a purpose for them. I think finding that uh, one area for the rebel guild, quote unquote, was a big upgrade for us.
Hmm. Money and XP not that great. Oh, I connected over here. Interesting. I see some hand cannons. Let's try to learn a new technique. Let's take a Kirk plus plus them. So hopefully we find another weapon for Hunter. I don't care if Girl ever finds another weapon or armor at this point. She she did her job. Cowboy getting armor would be funny. Four thousand experience. Why aren't the other dungeons this good? What is this? Oh, there's a zoom in. Forgotten ruins. Okay. Question mark? Oh, I didn't even need the radar for that. Oh, what's this? Ocarina acquired. Oh no. There's a memo located under the Ocarina. It says, Nintendo, please don't sue me. Giant Sakurina will call the registered golem to the controller's location. Oh, okay. Well, that answers our other question of what happens to the robot. The existence of Holmcross, the successor to the golem, which was built during the Battle of a Thousand Years Ago, has been confirmed. Someday an active golem will be excavated. Then it will be a great chance to try the ocarina. I can't wait. An old diary. Do you want to read it? Sure. Deep inside a heavily sealed ruin, I found a small life trying to hibernate. I don't know how important this will be to my studies of ancient remains, but... I'll take this little life to the outside world and dedicate the short life of mine to it. Old diary, do you want to read it? The forbidden life released before Ocarina of Time, but not but not before Link to the Past or uh, Link's Awakening. The forbidden life that stepped into the realm of the gods. Is this the result of the legendary battle with the demons? Sorting people's minds, making fools of their lives. Realm of the gods, we should not tread. This little life is from the time of legends. This little life uses the forbidden powers as if it were a toy. What did the people of a thousand years ago expect from this little life? Old diary, do you want to read it? Sure. This man-made child grew up among us. Surprisingly, this child knows what pain is, although he was built as a weapon. If it can learn pain, then it can learn compassion. I find myself communicating with this man-made child as if I'm his parent. Yes, the child is more human-like than anybody else I know. This fo day forward, this will be my grandchild. His name will be dot dot dot. It could be anybody, chat. Well, anyway, buy grandfather's house thing. Okay. I mean, the XP here is kind of crazy. I might just get another fight here. 4,000 is literally double the other dungeons, and that was an easy, easy battle. So we're gonna take another battle just to level, and then we'll move on. Plus at some point we need to unlock a skill. Uh, we're getting counterattacked. So I'm not sure where the cutoff for today is. I guess it just really depends on where we feel like. I would like to maybe explore the battle arena and maybe one other dungeon. Question mark. Yeah, that XP is so good. The money is also not bad. Honestly, you know what's really sad, chat? Sad but true. If we were to use the card there, that would give better XP than the last four bosses that we fought. To put that in perspective, so you understand, chat, when I complain about these things, those easy, like, two-shottable enemies gave more XP than both Harkin fights today. Harkin only gave 3,200, as a reminder, and she didn't give money, also, on top of that. So I'm gonna do this again because the money is just so good, although this fight might not be worth it. Uh, let's try to unlock a technique here, and then Kirk++ plus plus to finish. Come on, new technique. Nope. Goodbye, all the enemies. 
It follows JRPG logic. Apparently. It made me confused. That's unfortunate. It stopped my kill spell from going off. So now Hunter's going first again due to that rune upgrade. And getting two healing items for that is honestly pretty good too. How many are we back up to? Almost back up to 30. So that means with this, I could call the golem over here if I want to. Oh jeez, our item is so... our inventory is so unsorted. Give me a second. <laughs> just, just ascends from the depth. Nice. Welcome, what can I do for you? Okay, so we can finally buy potion berries. I think I want to buy the Eradicator. Oh, that's not enough of an increase. I don't think I care. Oh, uh, look at all these stats I could have, chat. Yeah, I don't care. We'll probably find better later. Listen, Hunter hasn't been the DPS for like eight bosses, I think, at this point. I don't think I care anymore. But anyway, now we can summon our buddy wherever we want. So the question is, where do we go from here? So we haven't explored anything to the south of us here, so there could be something along this area worth taking. Oop, interrupted. Ocarina is definitely needed to go visit a dungeon I can't normally reach. Because there were a couple times where we landed but couldn't do anything. But I'm not going to remember where all those are offhand. Wandering Isle. Okay, let's go here. We're slowly making our way down to the south. You stay on this path, you'll come across a place called the Sacred Region. No one has done any excavation of this ruin. There's a lake that keeps any dream chasers from going there. If only there was a shallow spot to cross. Don't waste your time. If only, chat. If only. I feel like I'm in, like, the Chrono Trigger world right now. Gamma Ray, how much are you doing? That's it? Wow, that that's just kind of sad. You can't even do like an eighth of my health and you're like by yourself? Why did you even show up? Well, he's about to die horribly. Oh, of course I miss. I mean, when the Magician is on par with your damage, you've done something wrong. Yeah, that damage is just so sad. You shouldn't even be a fight. Let's use Twin Orbs, why not? Try to unlock a new ability. Um... I guess I could zap him. If this misses, it doesn't really matter. This is just here for random damage. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Rob's like, it's like 10k experience. Well, that was a really sad 4,000 experience. Only 50 money, though. The money was bad. So the flowers at the other place were worth it. But that XP is very silly. I don't understand why it's like that. This game's reward system makes no sense to me. It feels like I'm like actually taking crazy pills. Him, please. There we go. I keep misaligning because I keep thinking it's like I could hit it at the top. I gotta aim more for the center. I don't know about you, chat. Would you have thought this would have hit? I would have thought this would have hit. A little more finicky than you need to be grappling hook spot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, I, I kind of understand why it misses, but visually it looks wrong. But we're fighting a die fighter. Nice. Welcome, Calvishan. Um, I don't think it really matters what I do. I'm going to boldy him. Oh, no. You're going to heal yourselves? You're my least favorite enemy. Boldy him. 
Goodbye. That's what you get for healing. Jerk. Nice dodge. Uh, we're just gonna shoot these enemies then. I don't feel like messing around. Well, he's in a very annoying status ailment. We resisted it though, so that's good. We shot him in the face for his troubles. So hand cannon's still useful. XP only 1200. This game's reward system makes no sense, chat. Like actually, actually zero sense. Why give me a battle that's worth a quarter of the XP? I don't understand in the same dungeon. It's not even like that was a boss. I hit the pause menu to swap characters the same time the encounter happened. Well, I mean, I guess I'll just take my casual 4,000 experience here. It's not like this enemy could do anything against us. It feels like this should have been an enemy in like five dungeons ago because it's like such a non-threat that it just doesn't matter what it does. Like, oh no, you did 144 to my mage. Just sad. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvishon. Here's another 4,000, just because. Ooh. I want to go back here to check if there's items. I think I do. Hmm. Game, please. Ooh, that doesn't reach. Okay. Make our way through this eventually. Preemptive strike? Could it get more unfair, chat? You know what? I'll MP drain him, and then Calvisham gets to hear this horrible sound effect. Truly one of the worst sound effects for a spell I've ever heard. Here it comes. Brace your ears. Truly horrific. Man, MP drain just seems to not work on anything. That's so disappointing. Oh, is the tricky part is that he just dodges a lot? Is that what's supposed to make him hard? Oh, he has disease. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense, but I don't think it really stops me from just winning next turn. Goodbye. Another revive fruit acquired, okay. Wait, did he? Wait, did he attack me mid grappling hook? Is that was that possible? I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, can we grab this? Not another spell thing. Yeah, but it seems like literally no enemies we fought have had MP, Calvisha. Like, I've tried it on four different enemy types, zero of them have had MP. Even the thing called Witch Doctor does not have MP. Get that. So I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of it, to be honest. Kim, please. Why are you so finicky with me? Please just zip over there. I think our goal is to the north. So I'm gonna go back to the south in the room to see if there's anything there. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stopwatch and see if we can get anything interesting here. He's never learning this technique. Yeah, it's not like other games where at least it would have given me one MP or something like that to at least cancel it. So it does not feel very generous right now compared to other games like Secret of Mana, for example. Red Jacket acquired. Oh no. Did I get armor? Wait, who's... Oh, d oh. <laughs> no, you gave cowboy armor. Chat, should I even bother equipping this? I'll let you decide, chat. I just... I don't know if that's really needed. Let me go back in time. Make sure I didn't miss anything in the beginning of the room. 
Rob wants me to equip it. Does it hurt you, Rob, that he's using the starting armor of the game? <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> he's lit I haven't touched his armor since the beginning. I could equip it, but I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll equip it maybe at a boss fight. It's not that hard of a game. Oh, there is something over here. I had a feeling. So we got an upgrade for Hunter, I think, just then. I'll take that upgrade. Yeah, most RPGs are really not that hard. There's a couple of exceptions, of course, but... It's just kind of like one of those things, having played for a while... Oh, is there not really a way to diagonally hit this? Uh, can I do it from here? No. The angle is wrong. That feels like I should have been able to grab that, I'm not gonna lie. That's like just a little out of position. Really don't want 4,000 more experience. Thou shalt receive 4,000 more experience, apparently. Yeah, there, is, there are several games where I just don't bother with armor. I just don't find it necessary to complete the game. It's a waste of time grinding. This game feels like one of it. I, I kind of regret getting Girl the armor. It only helped in one boss battle, and then we immediately got an upgrade after that. So I could have gone the whole game without ever buying armor, I think. For Hunter, I don't think it made a difference at all either. So it's just a waste of money. Okay, that did enough to kill. Here we go, Rob. This is for you. I will bother to upgrade the character. Hmm. It, ugh, game, please. I guess I could go back here to go around if I need to. Calvisham, why are the grappling posts so finicky? Why, why does that not grab? <laughs> Just like, please let me latch onto the pole. Why do I have to hit the very tip of it? Preemptive strike. This fight is kind of not worth it. I guess I'll do this just because. Uh, Crick plus plus. Okay, it did hit. And deleted. So anybody thinking Kirk++ plus plus falls off? Look at that damage. The one shot is real. I'll decide how much extra stuff I want to do, Calvisham. I'll explore a little bit, but if it seems like a tedious grind, I'm just going to skip it straight up. I don't have an obligation to 100% these things. It's kind of like when we skipped the stealth section the other day. It knows what it did. I do not want to play stealth sections in turn-based RPGs. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so over them as a concept. I have no interest in them at all. You cannot make me enjoy them. I do not like them. Uh, I should probably Kirk plus plus. Well... Actually, I think Cryo is good enough to kill. I don't need to use that much MP. <laughs> well, maybe I do if he misses. Which is very likely, I think, at this point for him to miss. Oh, never mind. It decided to do more damage than usual. Also, Calvisham, I'm giving up on that multi-hit for uh, Hunter. I'm not going to use it for the rest of the game. I was not impressed with it any of the times that we used it. So I'm just going to use Meteor Dive. It's cheaper. It's consistent. It doesn't sometimes do less than a normal attack. So yeah, I don't plan on touching that skill for a very long time, if ever again. Definitely not this session, for sure. Uh, How am I doing XP-wise? Still pretty far.
Are, are you talking about at the end of the game, Calvisham? Because right now it literally does not hit at all. Yeah. Hmm, how do I... I did not mean to go there. That is unfortunate that it automatically went through the doorway. Wait, did it just boot me? Wait, what was the point of that? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that was rude. What was the point of this whole dungeon? I don't understand. Was it just to collect those couple of items and leave? Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's the other side of the cave. I guess I didn't look to see where it deposited me. As soon as you got hyper. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll consider that a spoiler, I guess. I, I, I'll refuse to use that, I think. I'll use hyper. Already got that. I wonder if I would have bothered with the other things. Um... This looks like a... Oh, there's more than one guild? Or is this the same? No, this is the same one. Never mind. I'd like to heal. Don't need any more spells there. <laughs> Even though we got the spell graphs, I just don't think I care. So we just ended up here again. So I guess now I could cross here if I wanted to. Weird to me, Ocarina is not in that menu, but that's fine. We'll do this. So now we're at Dead Sanctuary. Oops. I didn't realize it was facing me down at the start. That was weird. I don't think it was holding down. Yeah, why are you facing me towards the exit by default? That's just rude. Okay, so we gotta use the vase here. Hmm. I think I would like to reduce encounters while I'm exploring. So there's one suspiciously different colored one. Do I move this? I can move this. Don't know where to move it currently though. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what my goal is. I'm just doing random puzzles. That's all I know. This ability wore off immediately got attacked. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Yeah. I think the downside is the game was like decent challenge wise, but I think it's really fallen off in like the past few hours, especially now that I have AoE heal. I just don't think the enemies could really do anything to me realistically. Like shy of them absolutely one shotting me, I don't know what they would do to defeat me at this point. I mean, I have free 1000 heal, I have hyper, I have rocket launcher. I can defense down them. Another fight, not worth it. I really wish the XP was better in this game. Because for me, I don't see a point in fighting at all. So let's invisible again. So do puzzles. So sadly, I think it won't let me use Hanpan through this. Yeah, that'd be too good. Uh, push you over here so you can come this way. So I can't get through there. 
the chest. Wise slate acquired. Yeah, I need to start selling these items. I just have way too many of these. I don't think I'm going to use any of the immunity items at this point. I should just junk them. Max MP up by 25%. I don't think I care. I don't think I care about that at all. So... Is it still sealed? We moved a statue. I don't know what that did, if anything. So we couldn't go through here. So I needed to go there to get by. What did that do for me? Was there another switch somewhere that I'm forgetting about? Hmm. I basically just need to open this up, so I'm just trying to think of how to open this door. Like, did I just miss a switch? I thought I pushed it on the switch over here earlier, but I didn't see what this did. Hmm. Let me think. We pushed the statue. I went to the middle area. Unless it's something like... Oh, okay. See, when I pushed this before, I didn't see what door it opened. That's kind of annoying. So if I do the opposite of this, it should open the far right door. Okay. I was trying to walk through, like, what pressure plates I touched. Figured it out eventually. She's Mystic Apple here. Hmm. Another Mystic Apple acquired. I think her damage is already fine. I don't need it to be, like, overwhelming. Please don't make me fight these. <laughs> I'm so done with random encounters, chat. You have no idea. I hope... It if anybody's played the later Wild Arms, are they all RNG encounters, or are they actually going to switch over to, like, overworld encounters? So I feel like I have a certain tolerance for it, and the game is really pushing it with me today. Because there were so many Force encounters already today. Like, I don't mind the game, but man, does it get really tedious to do these fights over and over and over and over and over. Invisible is okay, but I need something more like instant escape so that I don't have to waste resources here. Okay. Hopefully that's enough splash damage to kill here. Ooh, it's not. Unfortunate. Maybe this is? Nope. I was hoping to use this one to kill the one on the far left, but didn't do enough damage. And that didn't do damage either. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's just kind of like one of those things. Like, I don't mind it in games like Tales of Destiny because there's ways to completely avoid encounters. This game kind of has it, but it's like, it's a lot of menuing still, which still feels like I lose a lot of time doing it, which is unfortunate. And the rewards are also pretty bad for doing these fights, which I think is playing into my concept where I just really don't want to do with this. I, I don't want anything to deal with these enemies. Okay, how about the Elder Book? How good is that? Like, another 60 in Sorcery? Okay, well, I mean, I think her damage was fine, but if it wants to boost it further, I'm not going to complain on that. Okay, so can't do anything there. I'm going to do this to avoid all encounters.
Nice. Found the treasure. Now there's another spell that I don't want. Cool. Don't need them anymore. Let's go this way. There we go. Now I get to enjoy the dungeon without being interrupted by bad enemies. There we go. It's not perfect. But man oh man, Chad, I would have it up literally all the time. Full encounter avoid. There's a cliff over there I think I want to investigate. The Guardian Lords. Long ago, this place was a sacred land for the Masters of the Guardians. The Guardian Lords were the Guardians of Hope, Courage, and Love. Okay, so that tied in with the dream we heard earlier. The omniscient power of the Guardian Lords is greatly missing, Phil Gaia. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go this way. The bonk is real. Ooh, can't do anything there. Let's go this way. Yeah, I have patience for some things. RNG combat encounters absolutely not i hate it so much i got burned out from it in general as a kid and it is i've never recovered from it because i just don't like it as a mechanic so anytime i can avoid it i will end up enjoying the game a lot more red's glow is the symbol of love the hot emotion to care for another okay does it matter if i know the colors I guess I shall, I'll write them down for now. Red equals love. Green equals courage. Something equals hope. Power to heighten oneself? Sure. Oh, come on. I was just reorienting. That's so rude. It's doing so good at avoiding the encounters. Um, I'm actually getting somewhat low on hand cannon shots. Because a lot of these fights have not been like grouped up enemies. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, let's use Kirk Plus Plus here for the insta kill. Wow, he still has not unlocked it. That's so sad. Okay, that did what I wanted it to do, which was kill a single enemy. This should kill the other enemy. Ooh, it did- oh, it does- it does- <laughs> It did almost 800 more damage after that weapon upgrade. That's kind of silly. Well, I definitely don't need the more expensive spells now, thanks to that other upgrade. Rick plus plus kills everything. Bonk. Sacred place with three powers that hold together are worship. The three powers will never crumble. Shattered will is the weakness of humans. There we go. Proceed further, I suppose. We're definitely due up for a boss fight. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be, uh... Boomerang or whatever his name is. I don't think we're going to fight the scientist here. I don't think it really makes sense. The courage residing in your right hand. Oh, okay. Courage equals right hand. I'm going to write this down. I'm assuming this is relevant for later. Love goes where? Left. Hope equals... Within. I don't know what the color of hope is. We're, we're going to guess that if we're given a choice. I'm assuming it's like yellow or something. Or. Hmm. Yeah, the other guys also mentioned about something when you get the power within will re challenge you. This feels like the place that I would get it. I love skipping these encounters. There we go. They're really making sure that she is scaling up by giving her like five mystic apples of one dungeon. Quite something. Could put these out. 
I'm actually going to invisible here again because I need to use something other than what I'm using. Hmm. Is this just pick a path or can I actually interact with this? Oh no, I don't know what the other color is. Ugh. I don't think I got what the other color was. That sucks. I mean, I think they said something about the crumbling of human will, did it? So the question is, <laughs> what, what color do I think the other one was? Because I think I missed a clue. Uh... I, maybe yellow was hope? It's either yellow was hope or green is hope. So it could be red, blue, yellow. I'm gonna try blowing up one of the statues. I'm gonna pick this one arbitrarily. So I have a think about it 50-50 of getting this right. So it should be if I'm following what it was telling me earlier. Red was left. I'm assuming this is supposed to be red. Yellow, if it's hope, will be in the middle. And then courage was in the right hand. So I'm going to guess from what it told me there. I, I'm going to... It's a coin flip. I have a good chance of getting this correct. Okay, I think we got it correct. That's good. Back in here we go. So that's good. And after we do that puzzle. I mostly understood what it wanted at least. Ooh, look at all those encounters I'm not having. Hmm. Speaking of which, how much do I actually need to level? Oh, not even not even remotely close. Got it. Lunar Rod acquired. Oh, you gave a weapon upgrade to her? Really? I mean, I'll take it. I don't think I really need it, but sure. They really want to make sure that she's very powerful for this encounter for some reason. Assuming I use the teardrop here because it's got the mark on the door. Indeed, good call. I used to think guardian hunting was a bit boring since they lost their gusto. It looks like we might have some fun. Okay, so these enemies were very obnoxious and would single target me for like 1600 damage. So, I might still be in trouble here, sadly. Um... I think I just use Meteor Dive again, to be honest. The question is, which one do I kill first? Last time I did the dog first, I guess I could do the same thing again. Shoot the dog in the face real quick. Okay. Double boomerang dynamic. That did a lot. I'm sorry, what? It just said 3,000 to me? What the. What the fuck is that, chat? Excuse me. I'm rolling my eyes on this one. I don't swear very often, but that was pretty bullshit. Okay. I I'm glad the character with actually upgraded armor got one shot. I feel like I just got stat checked so hard there, chat. You have no idea. Wow, that was irritatingly high damage. I guess I will try to lower their damage by increasing defense. 
Question mark. That is so stupid. I literally have like the best possible armor. What the heck is that? I'm not grinding out like 50 more levels either, by the way. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Oh, oh, now you choose to only do 300? Yeah, see, I'm almost getting one shot here. This is stupid. I just gotta go for it, I think. So we're gonna go for Remedy and hope this is good enough. If I can hit the dog like twice, I think it'll die with Rocket Launcher, with our other damage stacked on already. Hopefully this puts me out of kill range, question mark. Okay, so, like... <laughs> I don't understand. How is the How are their turns doing between 600 to a single target to 3,000? That damage disparity makes no sense to me at all, chat. Like, that kind of stuff drives me wild. I'm okay with having, like, an off turn, but that just feels really unfair. When the character with 25% more health than normal and the super armor still gets one shot. Like, that to me is just so stupid. I just, I, I just roll my eyes at it. I'm just like, what were they thinking? Like, aha, you challenged me. You are indeed one shot me. Congratulations. You are the winner. If this lands, it might die. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, now we're fine. We got through the nonsense of whatever that was. <laughs> now they're doing 380? Okay. I'm just rolling my eyes, Chad. Like, okay. Well, I might as well as Trickster. I guess I could ex actually let me see. Can I mystic the the cards? I can't. Okay, so that answers that question. I'll just use the card then, I guess for XP. I'm assuming they're going to be worth a lot and they're not going to have any money cuz the game hates me. Cuz they have nothing, so I don't lose anything there. Okay, I should be able to lock on with uh rocket launcher to finish this off. I'm just rolling my eyes, chat. <laughs> just like, seriously? Anyway, I think this fight is over. I could try to learn a technique on him. I, I don't think he could do anything at this point to me, to be honest. So now that their one shot is gone, it's over. I guess I could use Saint to see if it does damage. All bosses give money. That is not true, Calvisham. That is a lie, and you could go back in the VOD. There were like six bosses that have given no money. That is an absolute lie, Calvisham. No, no peddling propaganda here. Every time a boss has retreated, like the uh, joke ogre guy, the two fights with Stella, we have not received money. I don't even think Mother gave us money. Double check real quick if she did. No, Mother also did not give us money. Go through here and Meteor Dive. Uh, I guess I could Saint again. What is her rune? Is she still using Death Rune? I think she is. Yeah. I'm assuming Holy counters Dark Ninja, so I'm just using Holy. But I don't think this boss is very long for this world, to be honest with you. I could Hyper, but... Something tells me the boss is going to die in two turns regardless, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm doing 4,000 a turn. So I'm pretty sure this is the boss's final turn. GG. I could try to learn a technique on the boss again. See what happens. <laughs> Did not learn the technique. Oh well, I tried. And... dead. You've gotten much stronger. I look forward to seeing how much you can improve, humans. Maybe you could take care of my loneliness after all. 11,000 experience received and no money. 
rip the money. I personally would like to congratulate you, but what you have there is just a rock. Not much of the old juice is left. You cannot defeat me unless you unlock the secret of desire. The one controlling the eternal power will always be victorious. No problem, Rob. Hopefully you have a good Easter. Shattered Statue of a Dragon. Dragon Idol acquired. Shattered Statue of a Goddess. Goddess Idol acquired. Shattered Statue of a Lion. It... What do you mean I'm skipping the message? No, I'm not, Calvisham. Calvisham, I challenge you to go look it up right now. I did not receive money from that battle. I can feel the faint powers of the Guardian from the three stone statues. We are the fossilized essences of courage, love, and hope, the Lord Guardian. The thoughts that feed us are nearly gone. We can no longer materialize. What? It can't be! If all the people in Filgaia had thoughts of courage, love, and hope, the world would not have fallen. But the weakness of their thoughts have brought Filgaia to its knees. I am ready, innocent one, our shaman. The image of us must be in your heart when you receive this true gift. Take hold of this, innocent one. All of the Guardian's energies. Shaman, receive the truth. By Guardian Force Acquired. Ooh, those names again. Gardajef, Malgolt, Fengalon, and Stoldark. The Guardians have joined in onto the Innocent One. Bring light to the darkness that has engulfed Phil Gaia. I can't believe it was our fault Phil Gaia was weakened. Courage, love, and hope. Those ideals were always in my heart. Hmm. So we can't see what the other ability is. Can we get better guardians? These guys suck. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. So sorry, Calvisham. I, I, one, Calvisham, I will bet you 10 gift subs right now. I am that convinced most of these bosses do not give money. <laughs> you could look up Bell Selk, I think was his name or any of the Dark Knights. They have not given us money when we defeated them. There are some bosses that do. I'm not saying there aren't some, but there are quite a lot that do not. Dead bosses give money. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go save. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save in another file. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Calvisham. I'm like, there's a lot of bosses that don't give anything when they get defeated. That's why I was not expecting money in those. <laughs> that's fine. I'll take that as a correction, because I was literally going to load up the other save file. <laughs> I'm mean, like, I'm getting those gift subs from Calvisham. <laughs> like, I guarantee you I did not skip money on that. But anyway, we're up to 60,000, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm still really far from leveling. Interesting. So I'm like maybe three encounters from 32 to 33, which isn't too bad. I still feel like I'm over leveled for the most part, minus maybe girl. So I've been trying to really not get into more fights due to how many were in here. Let's go ahead and I guess eek out of here because I don't really have anything else I want to do unless there's something in the back. Guess I'll check one more time. Yeah, let, let me check to make sure I looked at everything in the other room. I'm going to use invisible first, though. We're going to do this and escape. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there is a path back here. OK, glad I went back. Oh, another one of these. Whatever. Let's find me to attain the secret of the shadow sword. Sure. Sounds like the like fun, I'll take that challenge. Hmm. So we're fighting Zoazine. I'm so happy we saved the game. In case this fight is actually real. How much damage do you do? It's not a lot. <laughs> 
One day we'll unlock this ability, chat. Me and him are having a slugfest right now. So he's using guard. Oh, there we go. I think new ability unlocked. Magnum Fang has been unlocked. And that does what exactly? Shock Fang attack? So I guess this is just the single target version of Guilty Blade? I guess that's probably okay. I'm assuming the boss will be dead soonish. Yeah, there we go. 6,000 experience. That actually would have been worth duplicating. That's kind of sad. Wow, it didn't even break a sweat. Astral hint acquired. Oh no, chat. We now have... have another one to learn. Oh, this only one only costs seven. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll heal up and then we'll try to leave. Fortunately, we have Eek to get out of here. I wonder if I can't teleport because I'm in a dungeon. I think when I eek, then teleport to Aldehyde, and then we see what the game wants us to do after that. Oh. Something's happening. What? That's a... An army of demons is coming down. The same thing that attacked Aldehyde. This is the Demon Gate. We can travel through space using dimensional shifts. There's many useful purposes. Troop transport is one of them. The Tearing Darkness is the Anti-Guardian. Welcome to the Gate Generator. Have fun, my friends. Oh, oh, did I trick? Oh, I actually wanted to keep exploring. I didn't think we would trigger this. That's really unfortunate. Um, well, I hope I'm not forced into the end of the game because I was not remotely done exploring. What? How is this possible? Good morning. This is the Gate Generator. This is our demon gate in your grave, get it? Hmm. So this is kind of unfortunate. I wonder if I missed out on side quests because I didn't think this would happen. I was literally just picking things in order that I came across. Hmm. It's gonna be fun from here on, boys and girls. Have you in the palm of my hand now? Appetizer, anyone? Yeah. This kind of sucks. I wanted to do the tournament with Cowboy or Hunter before we did this. Hmm. I also don't have most of my gun ammo restored, which is kind of annoying. That is really, really unfortunate. Yes, I'll try to MP drain. I'm hoping these actually give decent MP. Please don't confuse her and stop me from MP draining. Okay, she dodged it. dodged it again. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, come on. Hello, Bazooka. That really sucks. I would like an opportunity to recover my stats before we do one of these next time, game. Very, very, very rude. Um, That's like a Guilty Blade, the middle one. Now they're going to silence me. Which, if they target Hunter, is actually a big problem. They silence Girl, which is kind of annoying. Please don't confuse my part. Oh, please don't confuse my whole party. I think the problem is they got slowdown on me, and then, like, my abilities just whipped in general. I should do some AoE damage, I think. Oh, nope, they're too far away. Hmm. Well, I guess I just keep using Meteor Dive, because it's not worth healing them. Please don't cancel his Meteor Dive. 
They silence Cowboy, which doesn't matter. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. So chat, we're going to be here for like five minutes because this is a absolutely heinous stacking of status ailments and there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I just got to pass turns. Wow, he's even whipping counterattacks. This is so painful. The problem... Oh, he finally struck. The problem is like... For those not aware, sleep does not wear off when you're struck. So we are at the mercy of the game until it decides to wear off. So we have two members that can't do anything. Confusion ends eventually. I can't one-shot them with our gun, which is unfortunate. If they confuse Cowboy again, I'm basically going to lose like another three minutes to this BS. Like the game literally was like, oh, you're trying to leave a dungeon? Here, have a surprise encounter when you don't have resources. Yeah, I definitely do not appreciate this from the game right now. Especially since, as I said before, I might be missing side quests because of the fact that, you know, we're now fighting the big bad, but I didn't willingly do this either. Like, I was just exploring ruins and they happened to be there. So definitely not a fan of this part of the game so far. And okay, we got a lot of experience. 9,000 experience was more than the other boss fight, by the way. I'd just like to point that out, that that was literally worth more than the other boss fight. You fool. You shouldn't fight it in, in an unstable dimension. You could explode from all the energy you create in battle. You knew that would happen. No, I will let you enjoy this. I'll chase you to the end of the end of the world. All right, well, since the game is now forcing me to continue, I guess I will use one of our bullet clips on Rocket Launcher. Actually, Rocket Launcher still has four. Eh, let's just still use it. The Recover the Gun ammo. And then with our Magic Carrots, we just go up to, like, this total's probably good enough. Bullet Clip acquired, Magic Carrot acquired. So the game kind of knew it was going to be rude to us, but it could have just chose not to do that at the same time. So we kind of used everything that it gave us there. So I guess I'll resave because I'm already at the point where all my save files are at a point that I would have to do this anyway. So it's not like I have a save before we did the other boss. So sadly, I think I will miss out on the battle arena. Unless we can go revisit that later. And even then, I'm not sure if it updates if we do it later in the story kinds of things. There's a stair downwards and a door there. chest. Heal berry acquired. Here I am, dripping with talent, ready to do battle. Not gonna get off so off easy this time. Watch my phenomenal attack. Drop floor. Okay. Just gonna choose the fall. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't just go to the next area. Um, well, I'm assuming there's something I can grappling hook to then, somewhere. I can grappling hook on him. That hurt. What do you think you're doing? Shut up, you annoying jerk. Operation Hell Thunder! Okay. So we're gonna bonk here. I guess this is the routine comedy character. This is Operation Hell Thunder. Electricity through the floor was mighty ingenious of me. Ah! Yeah, so anyway. I think this is kind of a callback to Chrono Trigger. Which we have not played on stream, but there is a very long comedic segment involving a character named Ozzy in Chrono Trigger that is reminding me of this, where he tries to do a bunch of traps and they're basically all useless against the protagonist. I, 
don't know what doing the levers do. Okay, I think that opened up the grappling hook area. Out of range. Okay, what are the fights like here? Hmm. Okay, so having Ray Gun there is good. I can still try to learn the other ability while I'm here, so I'll use it on this character. And then. I just go for High Blast just to see how much damage it does. It's just not great. Prism Ray saving a ton of time there. Thank you, Prism Ray. How much is this going to do against the Magician? I imagine not much. Oh, actually, it did oh, quite a bit of damage. 5,000 experience, not bad. I could go this way first. Ooh, the diagonal makes it a bit tricky. Don't know what that did to the rest of the room, but I'll do this for now. So we managed to get over here. XP is finally decent ish. I need about six levels to, or six fights to level for max. Oh no. Not more of these. Secret sign, I don't think I need anymore. I mean, I guess I could use it on something. I did want to see if I could make uh, the hell dive cost literally zero. We have two duplicators. So there's clearly a treasure room I forgot about somewhere, or we haven't seen it yet. Because we did use up three keys, and then we got two back. One was from, like, the Outer Sea. Yeah, I think I want to just shoot you before you become a problem. Use Kirk++ plus plus on this. Hopefully this will do enough minimum damage. Please don't confuse Cowboy. You can confuse Hunter, that doesn't matter. Girl getting confused is also annoying. Okay, we got through that. Silence on Hunter doesn't matter. Okay, problem enemy killed. So that's one thing down. So yeah, so so far it seems like Secret Sign was not worth using given that boss XP is kind of bad, honestly. Like, when we fought that other enemy and got 11,000 experience, I would have gotten 10,000 on that casual clown kill. Or like here, I almost got boss level experience. Like, that's silly. We got another bullet clip though, so at least the game kind of acknowledges we're in a position where I don't have easy access to restore things. Which is also good that I've been leveling up our bullet count for the most part. I said I just fall down the hole, right? Let's save time. I think it does. So there's a switch over here. That turns it off. Hmm. Oh, diagonal. Betrayed by the diagonal chat. Hmm. So this is where we came from. Is there anything else we need to do here? <sighs> so I think I got an okay amount of things so far. Let's continue manually since I can't just skate here. We're doing in terms of levels. Not super close. Sounds like I'm gonna level. Force unit acquired? What is that?
Ants force increase. Um, I don't think there's really a character I want that on at the moment, other than maybe Hunter. How do they not make their evil layers safe for rollerblading? Yeah. It's like okay on Hunter, but like I'd rather the girl just have 70 sorcerer points. I guess if I wasn't using her for damage, maybe that would make more sense to do. But she's actually pretty good damage wise with our party. Not bad, not bad at all. I roll my eyes as I got into that fight. Fanklevine, okay. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll just melee. Maybe this will be good enough. Not quite. Cut down. How much will this do? Honestly, not that much. She went after the enemy. See if she crits here, it doesn't matter. Unfortunate. 7,000 experience? What? Man, Chad, these, like, these rewards, I will keep complaining about this. So you're telling me that fight with the ninja and the dog that literally could one-shot the party arbitrarily is worth less experience than that one enemy we just fought now? What? Like, they would have only been worth, like, 6,000-ish. No, not even. They would have been worth 5,500. What does Nectar do? Cover status and max HP. Oh, that's fine. So I guess we cornered him. He went to the secret area, so there's a little switch down there. Bonk. Bonk. There's a lever, do you want to use it? Sure. Hmm. Is it worth leveling? Three more fights with Hunter wouldn't be too bad. I guess I'll take the fights. I mean, if we get 7,000 per, that's that's fine. That That's like reasonable XP. When we get like that sad little like 1,800, I have no interest when you need 30,000 to level. No interest at all. Now he's gonna trap us inside, nice. Uh, I must say, this is most entertaining. Hmm. So I can open or close this one. So what does it want me to do? Can I just time rewind out of here? Man, we're such cheaters. I guess this is just a puzzle for opening it correctly? So, I guess based off of what's happening... He can't lock us in... If I do this... I mean, it's good we have cheaty time powers, right chat? Set a little bit of precognition there. So that should stop him from locking us in? Lucky jerks. Okay. So there's a save point. MP's looking 
decent-ish. I'll have one more carrot on the girl, just in case. I need to burn a lot of abilities in a row. Still have 18 magic carrots, so we're doing fine there. Go ahead and save. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother using secret sign on these bosses. I feel like it's gonna be like, you got 6,000 XP or something stupid. And it'll be like, well, the other fights are worth so much more. No purpose. What are we doing money-wise, by the way? Almost 70,000? Not bad. Well, I see the golem we have to fight. Am I ready for a golem? I guess I could start the battle by defense-upping, in case I think I'm gonna get one shot again. Diablo, the Crimson Hellstorm, taste it for yourself, my friends! So yeah, I guess I can just set up with a couple of casual shots. Kind of learn in a bit. Oh, you know what? Let's see if there's anything even worth stealing again. Then we will, I guess, shield. Just so we don't get one shot like last time. You know, that damage is not that high. Shield was not worth it. 670 is nothing. Yeah, not what I would have thought with Diablo. It doesn't even have horns. So I guess we just slowly set up on the boss here. So let's go ahead and Meteor Dive. And we're gonna go ahead and wide open the boss, and then Hyper afterwards. Ooh, that is a... that is a choice for a sound effect. Oh my. Once this activates, we should be good. I can start using Rocket Launcher. Or it fails. I failed the coin toss. I'll do one Rocket Launcher here. Meteor Dive. Try to wide open again. Yeah, that did decent damage. There we go. Um, I guess I could rocket launcher again with lock on. He could take a turn to heal himself. Hmm. Is he gonna hyper on the other character, assuming he lives? Not bad. He's Rocket Launcher again, because this attack is really good. Meteor Dive. Hopefully he doesn't go first. He might, which could be a problem. Well, that actually is a problem. That might kill us. Yeah, that'll kill us. I'll redo the boss battle. It's fine. I think I had the right idea. I just... I, I was not managing their health like I should have earlier. Unfortunate. So I think this will kill no matter what here. That's fine. So it's not a hard battle. It's just more like... If he does two 800s in a row, that's kind of a problem. Since that is most of our HP. Oh well. Yeah, I was hoping I could just get away with another buff, because I was thinking he was gonna single target, but when he double when he double multi-attacked into another multi-attack, that was kind of over. Unfortunately. If he single targets, then I could get away with some debuffs. I don't think I'm gonna bother with defense up this time. Should be a pretty quick fight either way. Uh I think I do want to use wide open though earlier. So yeah, it was just kind of unfortunate, really. So 
So I, I think if he does any AoE, I just have to respect the fact that he might just chain them. And then we should be fine. Um... It's another hand cannon here into... Probably Magnum. Will I survive? Yeah, I'll survive. Okay, so you could do one here and it doesn't matter. Just I have to heal on the next turn if he does do one. So 2,000, not bad. That sound effect is horrible. Alright, so here I should be able to just heal and not make the same mistake I did last time. Trying to learn a new move because I got nothing better to do. Use Remedy, should be good. Good, I actually want him to attack again because I can actually heal more this way. So there we go. Now we're not in the same situation as last time, so we should be good. I will humor Calvisham with one use of the rapid attack. I don't remember which one it was. This one, I think. I don't need defense up since the thing that does damage doesn't really do de damage. You know what? I'll use randomizer. Who cares? So let's see. Does this out do meteor dive? A little bit. A little bit. I use regenerate. Nice. I'm curious about one thing to compare the damage. If I do this against Magnum Fang, which does more. Uh, I'll just use Cryo on this. I don't think I really care what my damage is here. Oh, Magnifying actually does less. Interesting. I guess due to the multi-hit properties. So if I'm not using Strength Up, Magnifying is stronger. Got it. I guess that makes sense. Let's lock on and do some damage here. So I guess I could... St I still want to learn this at some point. We'll do Slash Rave again. Uh, so I could try to Saint him, maybe. Yeah, we should be good. I'm pretty sure the boss fight will end in like two turns. Wait, was it just me or did it just do 683? Or did I select the other? Maybe I selected the other technique. Come on. I was like, that was very low damage. Rip boss. Uh, let's see, chat. Will this give us less than 7,000 experience? It did. I'm so glad we did not double. I'm so glad we did not use the card to double. No, you've defeated Diablo as well. No regrets not using the secret sign. Would have been a big waste. Yeah, big oof in the chat. When random enemies are worth more than your bosses, you did something wrong. And I don't apologize for that. That is just bad. Bad design. Don't make bosses so unrewarding. Let's restore our stuff and go backwards. So let's save here. So presumably we're going to fight Siegfried based off of who's been talking, or Zed. Defenses are not working. Damn it, there's no time to screw around. I use my Tempest strategy. We'll suffer dearly, humans. Please enter the password? Wait, what? Hmm. Is, is it Zed?
Ha <laughs> ha You fools, that thing will open any password. Does your pea-sized brain hurt? Why even lock the door then? Please, my lord Siegfried, let me in! They're already here! I need to psych myself up before I fight them! Yeah, I think he's supposed to be a, a like a strong comedy character. It's a low rumbling sound, it might be a huge machine. Do you want to go in? The game is warning me. Um... I think there's anything else I really want to do, though. I think I'm good. I don't think I used enough bullets, right? I still have a lot of rocket launcher. Yeah, I got five of these and potentially bazooka if I'm really desperate. It's probably good enough. Yeah, let's just do the fight. You pesky maggots are getting in the way of my career. You'll be condemned to death without appeal. This is the power of the immortal reborn. A gift from Alhaz... Alhalas... I can't say his name. Alhazad. I don't know. Here we go. Get back. This isn't your caliber, you squirmy snake. Lord Siegfried? We can't have you running around messing things up anymore. We need to acquire this world for settlement. With Hyades gone, we need a new home. Cut the crap. You can't fool me. You betrayed your mother because you wanted to become the ultimate ruler, right? Say what you will. I like it here on Philgaia, and I will and I will become the ruler. Exterminate the humans so we demons can rule both heaven and earth. Okay, here's another battle I don't think I'm gonna bother using a card on, because there's no way he's gonna give us money. Magical spear. Lum Zeba will skewer you. Um Guess I could see if he has any abilities. Wait a minute. Wait, he did use Slash Rave before and he did 600 damage, because it, it auto-locked to this position. Oh. Yeah, so Slash Rave is still really inconsistent. Hmm. We'll do... Don't think I care about Soul Breaker. Let's do this into... I mean, if he one-shots me, he one-shots me. Let's just lower his defense. Yeah, I guess the damage range is pretty extreme. Has nothing. Do a little damage there. Negative rainbow. It's quite a lot of damage. Please lower his defense. Or just waste my turn. Cool. <laughs> Right, chat? I love that. <laughs> if he attacks again, it should be fine. He shouldn't kill anybody. So we're going to weaken him a little bit so I can use my rocket launcher. Oh, are you going to lock me out of the ability to debuff anymore? It's actually pretty annoying. <laughs> Do you mind not AoEing for a turn? Really appreciate it. I mean, like, I'll win eventually. But I would like to be able to defense down them before I do anything else. Hellboy can survive two hits. The other characters can't. Uh oh. Are, are we just in a permanent loop with this enemy? I don't think I want to risk... Actually, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I, I really don't want to be in this fight for, like, 50 years because I can't defense down him. It's just kind of sad that, like, if Wide Open had just worked, I would have been doing full damage by now. So we'll consider this the warm-up for the rest of our damage. I should survive. Yeah. Please defense down him so I can start rocketing him. Thank you. Let's go ahead and use... I could use Protector if I wanted to. I don't think I care, though. So we're going to go in and we're just going to do... Let's do Sonic Vision. And then just use Remedy here. Should be fine. Two thousand eight hundred, which is honestly not that much better than our other skills. So I'm imagining he's going to be dead in the next two turns. So we're doing quite a lot of damage. And I healed right before his big special attack, which only single targeted. 
So I think this is just kind of GG for him. So let's use Slash Rave and compare the damage. I'll use Remedy one more time, just so I stay up on HP. Yeah, see, it really is all over the place. So it's not my imagination. It really is just super inconsistent. So even, oh wait, no, 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 I didn't Hyper yet. That's right, I got delayed. So before Hyper, it is very bad, just for clarity. But with Hyper, it's decent. Okay, so not my imagination. The spell is still really terrible, unless we Hyper it, which is fair, I guess. Although, honestly, I feel like the boss fight is about to end. I'm just gonna Magnum Fang into, I guess if there's another turn, I'll Hyper. I feel like we've done a lot of damage to him already. So I think this will put him over t uh, 10,000 damage dealt. Okay, so he gets to live one more turn. So let's go ahead and just finish him with some rockets. I'll try... Slash Rave again. I'm going to AoE heal everybody, because this is just a very powerful ability to do. So let's see how much this does. Not that much. I think chat can agree, that was not good damage. Only 1400, that was pretty bad. Humans can have powers equal to ours. So I think for the foreseeable future, I'm just going to stick to the other ability. So even with it doubled, it's just, it's still really, really inconsistent with how much damage it does. I'm not impressed with 1200. We were doing, what was it? I think 900 before the buff with just Meteor Dive. And then if I want to pay more MP, I could do like another 500 on top of that with the other ability. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not using the Slash skill again. So it, it has the potential to do a lot of damage, but it still whiffs really hard even with Hyper and the enemy's defense down. Even with both, that was not really good damage. On the other fight, I think we got lucky and it did good damage. But this fight, no, it did like literally nothing. Humans can have powers equal to ours. It's impossible. I knew the guardians were involved. I will not let them ruin my plans. 5,000 experience. So he gave less than a random fight, by the way, chat, that we had in the, uh, the ship corridors. You think you've won? Think again. My dreams and aspirations have just begun. Round two. Turn the generators on, Zed. Output at 200%. You can't do that, my lord. It's going to overload. No, that'll create a... Yes, a black hole right in this room. I knew it. What should I do? I don't know what you're trying to do, but you've lost. Surrender. Surrender? Me? Ha 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 ha. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to activate the generator. Everyone here will be sucked into the dimension gap. Of course, I'll be sucked in as well. Let's see. But I'll be... But I will recover because I am the ultimate ruler of this world. I will never die here. I don't know what's... I don't know what he's talking about, but here goes nothing. No way. Cowboy! Did we, like, fire our hand at him? What is happening there? All right, my lord, we'll see what happens. Oh, I, well, or maybe it was Siegfried that fired the wire. I was, like, blinking, and I missed what where the animation come from. I guess it was more likely Siegfried shot us with something. No way to escape. What are you going to do? You're going on a trip with me to the Vortex. Yeah, we're trying to cut it off. You think you could cut those wires with those flimsy swords? They're made from magic silver. No way. What? What? Your own left arm? Well, we just cut off our arm. And then we got absorbed into the black hole anyway. Oh, hello music. We <laughs> right chat we
Things are definitely happening. I, I agree with that statement. Spin, spin! Spin, spin, indeed. This is near Aldehyde. Thinking about everyone needing to get home. I imagine the castle and the town. Next thing I knew, the teardrop brought us here. Cowboy. Oh yeah, Cowboy's arm is hurt. Good, you didn't get lost in the dimensions. Could this possibly be, Princess? Cowboy's body. His arm. What's the matter? There's nothing to worry about. We get the magic to heal him in time. No, it can't be. Cowboy's body is a machine. Just like the demons. Oh boy, I... I... Princess, if we don't support him in times like this, who will? Look, he's shaking. He doesn't know himself. No one wants to be an outsider, right? Well, he just found out he is one. Cowboy's been protecting us all along. We should do the same in return. I mean, didn't we kind of know that because we read the books earlier? Oh, wait, that's right. We didn't figure it out because they didn't say our name. <laughs> that's right, Chad. We, we, we could be led to water, but we can't drink it kind of things. You're right. It'll be okay, cowboy. Professor Emma from Aldehyde should be able to help you. Let's get going, princess. She should be able to... The old man was alive. He would know more about this. You know, cowboy didn't ask for this. It's not a machine made for destruction. Are you sure? We're wielding rocket launchers and kind of blowing everything up. It definitely feels like we're meant to be a killing machine. I'm going to have to hard disagree with the game on that one. Siegfried dot 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 dots. No way. I'm back on the control chair of the photosphere. I... I was sucked up... I was sucked up the gate generator. That was close. I thought I was going to be lost in another dimension. Although, it's ironic that I'm back at this place of hatred. Hatred between a child and a parent. I made it through. They probably have. Now, I have the Dark Teardrop. With this, I'll gain control of Phil Gaia. I and I alone will rule this world. The demon race shall reign again. I was going to say, when was Mother going to go fight him? Who is this? Is someone else here? We're really bad at confirming our kills in this game. This is... This is a bad dream. My... Nick... Is... Come, child. The larva's chasing him. And he's eaten. Exactly, Dango. They need to learn to double tap. I see... My sweet Zeke. From now on, me. This, even I can't do anything about this. So you're saying that cowboy's body is? The anatomy is the same as humans. The bones, muscles, nervous system. They're all the same, except for the fact that everything is artificial. So I have a genuine question. Why is this now a problem given that, heal given that healing magic already worked on us? It's just like the bodies of the metal demons and legends. No way! Cowboy can't be! No, not a demon. Looks like he was made by a human. He feels pain. He's a machine that feels pain. Why would anybody want to do that? Well, you see, the old man was a sick person. <laughs> Those things don't matter. It doesn't matter. How come I can never help the people I really care about? I'm sorry, I didn't think. I don't know how it works, but Hellboy's body is the same as a human body, except the material he's made of. Can we can we move past this point? You've said this now like four times <laughs> at the same dialogue. You can get herbs from Mar Mariel in the town of Rosetta. Those herbs will probably... See, don't give up all hope. Hunter, you should take care of Cowboy. Let's see you should prepare for an invasion in case the demons try to take advantage of the situation. Using skintanium armor, that's true. It's okay, chat. We just have to go find unobtainium, and then we'll uh, power up. Okay. Captain, prepare the sweet candy for battle. Got it. No one can take me on the ocean. 
I don't understand his cowboy humor is the artificial. It's like Pot of Greed. What does it do, Chad? It could do anything. Make us work for our friendship, cowboy. Okay, everyone. Hey, no time to sit around. Your friend needs you. Yes, he's our friend, isn't he? That's why we care so much. Are you stupid? Why would you have to think about that? What have you been fighting for all this time? To protect your loved ones, right? Not for some cheap, foolish destiny or mission in life. Get a clue, girl. Figure it out. I'm getting very frustrated listening to you. Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> you say so. Cowboy said you had a big heart. Enough. Let's go, McDolan. I've got to blow off a little... Blow off a cannon or something. Gotta get rid of this rage. Yes, my lady. How is it with all the terrible names you've given in all the various games you've played, the sweet candy somehow beats everything in this stupidity and weirdness? It's true. Every minute counts. Let's get to the town of Rosetta. Oh yeah, Dangle. We have many spells unupdated in name. Oh, we're now down a party member. That's what I was worried about. Oh. I kind of want our character back, but I don't want to advance the plot too much further. Hmm... So I guess we'll try to do this and then we'll take a break once we hopefully get the character back quickly. Yeah, we can't reload our bullets. That would have been convenient. He took all of his weapons with them. So none of the stores have upgraded still, sadly. I guess I can upgrade Aldehyde again. Oops. Did not diagonal properly there. Sure. Okay, so only one more upgrade needed. That's not too bad then. So we mostly fixed the town up. Probably name a spell after Dango. Oh my gosh, we have so many spells, chat. <laughs> now the other guy's here permanently. Guard using a dummy slash ally. Wow. Hmm. I don't think I care about any of these abilities. You're only missing lower HP and ability slash enemy. And seal and band area group. Look how many spells I could potentially use. So silly. Let's see, what do we want to name after Dango? We cast Meat Shield. I mean, I could just get that just to call it Meat Shield. That did name it, at least. Dummy doll? No. Meat shield. Base tank might be the, the defense up. What did we call our defense up? I don't even remember. I don't think we called it anything, right? Oh, that one face tank. It was called High Shield. Yeah, this one should be Face Tank. Good call. Uh, I think I just do this to clear it. Hmm. We still have some other abilities. What do we want to give Dango? Let's see. I don't think I would potentially use. It could be Darkness or Saint, I think are probably my most used abilities outside of this list that we haven't named already. We'll give, we'll do Saint. Yeah, hopefully the later games continue to let me name spells, but probably not if I had to guess. There's going to be a certain point where they're like, oh, we're not going to add that feature. Now I have Dango 42 immortalized. Um, Let's see. Anything else worth adding here? Hmm. 
I guess for now, I, I can't think of any additional names. Oh, you know what would be perfect, actually? I think Chad would agree with this. For Darkness... Gotta name it Hellcleave. Just makes sense, Chad. Writes itself. There we go. Hmm. Any other spells I want to add? I, instead of randomizer, this one should just be mayhem. We all know deep down. It just makes more sense. Let's cast mayhem. Indeed it does, says Hellcleave. Welcome, Hellcleave. Yeah, this one just makes sense. That's an easy change. We're doing the most important things, which is renaming things. Eraser... I don't have any good names, so we have all the high-level abilities here. Oh, that's true. Hmm. No, we gotta name one after Antares Convoy. If I say Chris, that could apply to anybody. <laughs> that's like cheating. <laughs> hmm. Is Lucky Shot worth it? I just- we haven't really test tested this one too much. Hmm... Boldy's fine for this. Are there any of these other ones that I want? Hmm... Feeling any spell in particular, Chris? We have Rainbow, all the high spells, Lucky Shot, Life Drain... Check to see if there's any other spells I want to add. Lower HP and ability. Seal in band groups. I don't think I care about most of these still. Prevent fatal blows. Hmm. <laughs> I'll let Chris think about it. Rainbows seem pretty useless. Aw. I mean, I can name you the rainbow one. I don't think it'll let me do the full name, but it should let me at least do this. Unless I do, like, this. Guess that works. That's it, I'm using rainbow every battle now. Okay, so let's see if we can very quickly get our party member back, because I would like to do that. Although, what we should be able to do... Oh, we don't have Teleport! We never renamed Teleport or the healing abilities. Forgot about that. Oh, you know what? I just thought of one. Sorry, there's somebody we should give a special shout out to. Oops. I just thought of a good name. So we have a rock spell, right? Why don't we call the Advanced Magic Granite Knight? I think Chad would agree that makes sense. Oh, it's not gonna let me fit the full thing. Put a K here. There we go. So I should just be able to go to the other town, rather than take a boat, because screw walking. Interesting forest mound counted as a place I could teleport to. Thank you, teleport. I enjoy not going in random encounters. So the faster I get through the plot, the better. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, laziness. I was thinking of calling it Screw This. What? Ow. Oh boy, his arm. What's happening? Hunter and girl tell Mario everything up to this point in their adventure. Use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is the benefit of the life within metal body that you possess, cowboy. Life within metal? How would you know, Mario? It is a thousand-year-old sin. The metal that has a consciousness. 
As you know, the demons have machines for their bodies. The elves and humans dare to step in their realm and play gods. This was a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs, but to replace a lost arm. Nowhere in Filgaia can you recreate life within metal again. Maybe for 1,000 years ago. Maybe then. Oh no, Chad, if only. Cowboy's arm could have been. 1,000 years ago in Filgaia? How can you? Let's go to the temple in the forest mound. Deep in the forest, the elves, we left a gift. Look at us go, chat. Oops, missed the door. It's doing well up until the very end. All right, let's rename this. We have Eek. I'm gonna call it Screw This. Oops. <laughs> I mean, I could go full on meme for one of the other ones, chat. I got I got a, a a meme one. I don't normally follow memes, but I think chat would understand. Got a good one for this one. Oops. Okay, we have the John Cena spell. There we go. <laughs> that got chat on that one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. There we go. We've updated most of our abilities. We still have quite a few to name, but at least we have some ones to potentially contemplate on. We've impacted more of the spells of this world, which is important. I'm going to cast Screw This and go straight to Forest Mound. Man, that's so unfair. What a good ability, chat. So I was trying to go here before, and now I think we just have to go here now with the girl. The elves left Felgaia after the war with the demons had ended. We elves normally live in the forest. After the war, the land was no longer suitable for us. So we created this realm called the Eld Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this land to another dimension. We closed the gates and this became our new home. There you can still see Filgaia a thousand years ago. And this is the gate that connects the L world to Filgaia. Okay. We couldn't budge this thing, even with a cannon. Maybe this gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity. That would not be good for Cowboy. This gate operates on the L's heart and life energy. Is she gonna kill herself to open it or something? Oh, she bleeds. The elves live by bonds. We bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land in order to enjoy nature. We would gladly give up everything to bond with those we believe in. Cowboy saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay him. Oh, she's just bleeding out. Please don't leave the mound. Basim can... Bell Dimension is a replica of Phil Gaia a thousand years ago. Hey, Muriel. Muriel, she's ble bleeding badly. You need to treat her now. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, this is kind of turning into a big thing. Do I want to explore anywhere before we do this? Because this seems like this is going to be much longer than simply going to the medicines. So, before we do that... Can I summon the boat to me is the question. Where is the boat? Okay, put the boat near me. I want to see if we could go to the other island and see how hard it is to get into fights here and win. What's with that island there? That's kind of weird. Hmm. So I think we're gonna use the power of let's see, let's have Chris destroy enemies and see what happens. 
Goodbye, random enemy. They said at least level 30, and I'm above level 30. Oh, Chris one-shot the enemy. Goodbye. Oh, transcends time and space. I think so. Hey, look, they have a chance to catch up to Cowboy's level. They did it. Uh, I think I just need to park here. We never got to here. That's one of the places we sort of saw and were told about, but never did anything with it. Unless I'm not able to do anything here. Like, there's no beach. In which case, I can just teleport away when I'm done. I mean, this feels like... Yeah, this feels like we're doing good damage here. Let's see if we swap up if they can one-shot each respective target. Okay, good enough. Okay, so some enemies seem immune. I'm not sure what tells me they're immune. Maybe it's something like if they have a weakness, or if they have an immunity to one element, they're just immune to the ability in general. Maybe that's how that works. But if they're neutral to everything, they take massive damage. Maybe that's how that works. It's a little awkward, but I guess I could slowly figure things out. We technically could use the analysis spell to figure that out if I want to use Rainbow a bit more. But it seems like on the weaker enemies, it is absolutely a one-shot. Venture went up another level, which is good, because I was thinking of entering him in the tournament if we're allowed to do this. Are we allowed to... We are allowed to go here. I'm going to heal. I thought about using the Ocarina and I changed my mind. Let's see what the sign says. Guess we'll not know. Work Lords, which I don't think are super tough if I remember correctly. Um, I think I need to use Dango. I need more of an AoE. I think I'm gonna regular Kirk them. Just in case they don't die, I'm gonna retarget this. Good call. See, now I can. Did you just try to AoE heal? What a fail. Try to unlock a new ability. I guess we could help leave them real quick. So yeah, we're coming back to this island with new armors and weapons and a couple levels over the- Whoa, What was that damage? Holy! How clean was like the delete button? <laughs> Game over! Hail Warrior, welcome to the Isle of Conflict. Okay, so we got confirmation there. That was actually a delete button. What the heck was that? Just casual 2.5k to the face. Preemptive strike. Well, I'm gonna try to... Oh! It's a new AoE ability. Interesting. Let's use Dango. See how much damage Dango does. Five thousand? <laughs> what? What is this spell damage? Excuse me. Holy, do they have a weakness to light or something? I'm assuming this is going to heal them or not do damage if I help leave them. I'm assuming. Okay, so they are weak to Dango. So there's some enemies that are weak to Dango. There's some that are weak to help leave. I guess that works. Welcome in Parameter. Hopefully you're doing well. Casual deletion. Another isolated guild. Game really wants to make sure I find this guild, apparently. So sadly, I do need to check the barrels manually, but I doubt there's anything in here. It's a magic guild. You can assemble new magic. Um, we kind of learned almost everything that I wanted, honestly. I don't even think I want the remaining spells in the game. Unless I just want to rename the basic spells for the sake of renaming them. Unless there's something here. If there's any more items to attain. So yeah, so maybe that's what it is. If they have a single immunity 
then they don't take damage. But otherwise, it's high damage with Rainbow slash Antares Convoy. So I guess that's a way of fishing for weakness. Oh, hello, Mandragora. I would like you to get Hell Cleaved. Big damage, 2.3 thousand. We're gonna use Hell Cleave again. Oh, don't single target the girl, please. Uh, I'm gonna be serious here and Magnifang so she doesn't die. I'm gonna Hell Cleave again and hope she doesn't get targeted. And she got outturned. Of course she did. That really sucks. At least this should kill. On the plus side, Hunter is about to gain an insane amount of experience. Paralysis Thorn. Oh, that's really bad, actually. It did not work on us, thankfully. Uh, Well, we're in a race to get a kill. I could revive, but that's really risky. I think I just have to go for damage here. I just hope it doesn't paralyze. Oh, it confused me? Seriously? Oh... I think I gotta run from combat. I don't think I could do this battle if it's like that. That is really, really unfortunate. I think this is gonna be a game over. I don't think there's anything I could do here. Yeah, I'm not able to do anything anymore. This really sucks. We got out turned and then... Oh, we conditioned greened. Please don't paralyze me. Oh, come on. I actually had an out there and the game just took it away from me by paralyzing me. Wow, we're going to game over here. When did I last save? Honest question. This is pretty unfair. I think we could all agree. There's nothing I could do. It took away my only ability to cure it by uh, immediately paralyzing me before my turn. But unless the game gives me control back here, I just die. Yeah, I think I'm dead. So unlucky. So unlucky to get stun locked with paralysis when we're already down a party member. That is massively unlucky. I don't even think I saved when we renamed the, all the spells. Let me check. I mean, we didn't lose that much XP. It's just more annoying that we're down a party member. Okay, we saved John Cena. That wasn't too bad then. Uh, what was I looking to do? So we might have to redo the mound, but if I ignore the mound... I just teleport there. So we can save that for next time. I think this took me basically where I wanted to go. So, okay, the only thing I think I want to do is give him immunity to paralysis, because that is just actually garbage. Alright, so I'm going to land there again. So we lost maybe three battles worth of XP, which is okay, that wasn't too much. Just super, super, super unfortunate. I just wanted to reach the other place just so that we could teleport there because I was just going to go back and save as soon as we got there. So really unlucky. We were like one area from getting it. It's going to try hell cleaving them and seeing what happens. So we saved our spell name, which is important. XP wise, not a big deal. So hopefully just being immune to paralysis will mean that we don't have to worry about that absolute nonsense. Confuse is also a pretty annoying status ailment. The problem with giving girl immunity to it though is that so much of her damage is dependent on it. Whereas the other characters it's more of their like offhand status resistance. For her it's like if she doesn't have it she does no damage. So we'll try to get enough that he levels again which shouldn't take more than a couple fights. We'll go back to the Isolated Guild, restore. Unfortunately, there wasn't a save here, or else that would have been really good. We'll save our HP and MP. 
but we're still going to try to get to the other place. So that way it should end up in teleport and we can do maybe a little bit of investigation there. So hopefully no more nonsense stunlock BS. Alright, so this is the one where they were super weak to Dango, I think. Let's go ahead and delete them. Yes. That might level us. Yeah, Hunter leveled, so we're exactly where I want to be. Just have to make it to the other destination, which was not that far away. Like, look how close I was, Chad. That's so unfair. <laughs> it's like maybe, maybe five steps from the arena, six steps. Is there a save point here? There is. Good. Make sure we don't lose battle XP. So sadly, we have to play with Girl a bit longer to level her again. But what we can do... Potentially use the inn here, which I don't need to at the moment. It's a thousand for the inn? Yeah, I don't think so. Survival Arena is endless pit of battles. Once you're in there, you must keep fighting without rest. If you have anyone that cares for you, don't go in there. Reload arms, but you don't have one. Even if I get injured, I fight again tomorrow. When I think about it, it's pretty sad. Join the fight if you'd like. Battle Arena is designed for secret audience to enjoy a game of life and death. Hmm, they're just trying to have fun. This arena was built on top of an ancient ruin. Yes, sacrilegious isn't, I guess having a bar in arena isn't too respectful either. The owner of the arena is called Duke. He watches battle from a safe place. Apparently, apparently he's known as a social deviant. The, the guy, Paguchi, thinks he's a Duke. A scam artist is what he is. The arena allows walk-ins. I wonder if we get an exciting walk-in today. Did you, Days? There's a castle of the Great King of Illusion on this island. Okay, so we might get a rune if we fight this long enough. I guess is what I'm learning. So we might get an optional ability here. Legends of strong men bring other strong men. They meet in the battle arena. Young men who have mastered fighting, come on and join the fight. The area around the fighting arena sometimes roars like the sound of an earthquake. It even scares the monsters. What we call the king's yawn. Uguchi not only thinks he's a duke, but he also gets excited at the sight of bloodshed. He's a madman. Certainly earned the nickname Bloody Duke. He thinks nothing of it. Okay, so I kind of want to see the arena, which we're probably going to lose in initially. This is where I thought we were going to get our first game over, would have been the arena, because we're just not sure how difficult it is. After a while, I'll get used to these creatures. The monsters have benevolent eyes. Okay, we can interact with the monsters for some reason. We already know man is the true monster. In theory, I could actually make girl do the fights, because she has a good healing ability and a big nuke. Well, here's a duplicator room. That's good. Press glyph. No. No, I don't want more spells. Wait, that wasn't worth it at all. No. Pretty secretary says, our job is to keep the Duke from being bored. Keep him company. The real charm of the Duke takes a while to recognize. But it's nothing to be ashamed of. You've come. Here, it's a paradise without morals or common sense. Now show your strength and try not to bore me. Um... Again, with the girl's recent upgrades, I think she could actually reasonably clear the arena. Hunter is also not too bad. He never got a weapon upgrade, which kind of holds him back a little bit compared to the other characters. But girl has had nothing but sorcery upgrades through and through. So I probably missed one or two minor accessories and maybe a weapon for the main character. But we're about to go to a new village, which would probably let us get a blade for him anyway. Entry fee is a thousand. Who I want to enter. Alright, so we're walking in as the girl, presumably. So let's see. I'm imagining it's just girl because she was the main character. Oh no, it's both characters. Oh. I thought it was supposed to be a 1v1 tournament. Huh. I mean, that makes my life a little easier. Now I definitely wish we went here with the other character. Let's use Dango. Dango did almost 5,000. How much damage is the enemy going to do to us? 
So at this point, Hunter is just going to be the healer of the party, I think. Only 300? That is really not that much. Let's do a normal attack here and dango them again. I mean, I guess it would be quite something to beat the arena without another party member. There we go. Deleted. 3,000 experience. Got a little bit of cash. Bravo, bravo. Duke Fuguchi is pleased with the fight. Yang Shilji awaits your next match. You will fight again, won't you? We'll say yes. You guys, here are the challenges that care not about their life. Here they are now in the survival arena. Get ready. So I guess I could just keep going until we find something I can't beat. Or if it seems like it's too difficult, we don't continue. We're fighting an enemy called, quote, bad news. Let's try to dango them. Dango seems to be the solution most of the time here. Okay, did okay damage there. How much is that going to do? That is a one-shot. That is an absolute one-shot. GG. I don't think we could beat this battle. Rip us. Party is exhausted. So that is again. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me that is indeed bad news. See, there's where I expected the game over. I knew there was going to be some weird difficulty jump. So even though it said level 30 and we came in at 33 with advanced gear, we just got absolutely destroyed. So the question is... Hmm... Uh, we'll come back later. When we have a third party member, it's definitely going to be much easier. So now can we teleport here? This is all I wanted to find out from earlier, by the way. Yes, now we can teleport here. Good. Oh no, I could go back to sim the graveyard. Oh wait, I could go to say Centaur for free healing. Wait a minute, chat. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain, free heal. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll complete a little bit of the forest mound and then we'll take a break for the day, I think. Look how convenient that is. We'll at least redo the cutscene we saw before, and then we'll come back. So I think realistically, if we had another party member and maybe another level, I could probably survive. As long as I don't literally get one shot, I think we have a chance there. I would not want to see what the next battle is, though, for that, for sure. Let's go back to the forest mound and see the cutscene again, and then we'll just pick it down. How are we doing money-wise? 58,000. So we have potentially enough to upgrade the bazooka quite a bit, if it ends up being any good. So yeah, we're just going to skip through the cutscene real quick. I guess we'll talk a little bit about how we feel the session went so far since we're here. Um, Aside from like one unfortunate boss battle where we got back-to-back -back AoEs, I think for the most part the boss difficulty has been on the easy side. We've encountered an area that's clearly optional and more difficult than the others, which is good. So for people that have been leveling a lot, it's potentially much easier. I like that some of the advanced spells are now putting a uh, girl back in terms of DPS position, because she did kind of fall off once Rocket Launcher was there. But afterwards, when we got advanced magic, she's at least doing some very serious damage with a lot wider of a resource than the arms. So I will briefly leave the forest and see if there's anything we could do here. Because if we can at least get to a new town, I think that would make sense. Oh, hello. Humans have activated the gate, and they're here. We came to ask for your help. We elves want nothing to do with you foolish humans. Please leave. We have people wounded here. Only you can help cure them. One of them is a wounded elf girl. Please let us in. She's a child of a criminal. There's no reason for us to help her. Go back to your dying world. Wait! We cannot risk exposing the gate to other humans. We'll take you to the village. Master Fu... Fulcanelli. Okay. Is Fulcanelli potentially a password I can use on the memory temple? I'm gonna write that down for now. Oh, How do you spell that? F... Fulcanelli. Okay. So keep in mind, we still have that one place we were never able to enter in the Memory Temple. I would like to try to guess the correct password at some point there.
So it sounds like we're in a village, which is good. So we'll we'll play this out. We'll save in the village. And then we'll talk a little bit more afterwards. Please help, cowboy. <laughs> Look at him shaking his head and nodding. What the hell did you do? Yeah, Master Cannoli for sure. Emiko. Ooh. Ooh, another name. Let's let's put Emiko on the list. Actually, you know what? If we're allowed to just leave, I'm gonna teleport to the memory temple. And that'll be the last thing that we do. Follow me, outsiders from the dying world. No, 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 no. Go back. No. Okay. So, you want to use our powers to fix this young man's left arm? Cowboy's an important part of the team. We're trying to save the world. The battle with the demons has begun again. Do you trust us? The ones who are more like demons than humans. We have to. Cowboy's too important. The whole world needs him. A thousand years ago, we created this machine to combat the de demons. The golems are the absolute power. Power without heart can be good or evil. The elves and the human mage human mage, have reached into the realm of the unknown and came up with the new technology. We base this technology on demons we captured. We use living metals and adapted it to human psychology. Or physiology, excuse me. An artificial biometal was created. It was called the hu the Home Cross Project. You know what? I almost called it Humunculus the first time I read that. I'm still getting hum Humunculus vibes from that. Artificial life that can survive under any conditions. This Home Cross is the ultimate enhancement to many different kinds of arms. It synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the psychic power of the arm. But the Home Cross enjoyed killing so much, they literally became a killing machine. Was it the blood of the demons, or was it the man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure. The deployed Home Cross were destroyed. There was, however, one Home Cross left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. Cowboy is not a killing machine. He has a bigger heart than anyone I know. The time he spent as a human gave him a pure heart. Is that what you're saying? Cowboy used to travel with an old man called Zephyr. Zephyr has had a kind heart, and it was he who kept Cowboy from turning into a weapon. He kept Cowboy's heart pure. That is the real monster. What a unique and unheard of concept, exactly. You're telling me after a thousand years, this man unleashed the experimental machine. But it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. Those powers were lost to us long ago. Then Cowboy is... There's nothing we can do. Oop, down the stairs she goes. The Guardian Blade. Mariel, you must rest. The Guardian Blade has a life of its own. I, I bet its power could... Go to Brother Vasim. Oh, so we have another name. Let's also try Vasim. I'll probably, since... Emiko seems important. I'll put him there. I'll spell Vasim correctly. So we'll try Emiko first in the memory temple. Since he's like the mayor of the place, he's the most likely person to have the password or be the password. When the world are you saying? The Guardian Blade went out of control and disappeared, but not before it took half of Gaia with it. You know, the sand ocean that starts with Rosetta and cuts across the land? That was the result of the untrained and refined guardian blade of Vasim. Muriel, stay here. Oh, excuse me. Muriel stayed there, alone to pay for her brother's sins. He's working to turn the sand ocean back to normal. We can't afford to make the same mistake again. If we do nothing, then that is what Filgaia will be. Nothing. If we run now, we will live the... like weaklings for the rest of our lives. I don't want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. Asim lives in the forest of the southwest. There he can live without being exposed to us. It's the only one that could possibly repair the arm. If not, it will destroy us all. Please, take me with you. I want to share some of what I've learned with him. Do you still want to, us to make the Guardian Blade? It's going to take a miracle. We've lost much of our technology to time. That evil sword. Miracles only have value if you could do it yourself. It is absolutely true. Is that supposed to be a deep burn? Why'd she say that? Miracles don't come easily. If it could be done, it will probably be done by a human. The guardian of Filgaia is a human. Please, hold on. I wish this will make you well again. 
Uh, I guess I'll do some checks for items. Random bouncing squirrel. I feel like this room probably has an item. No? Surprising. Maybe you could change the world. It's important to go forward, but you need to stop and rest. Do you want to rest? Sure. So presumably now I could just teleport here at will, which will save us a lot of time in the future, so I don't have to go back to the forest mound. I don't know if I want to manually search for items anymore, given we have the radar. Let's boop the squirrel. Get over here, squirrel. For monsters of the forest, it's safer if we stay in the village. How very unhelpful. Thank you, squirrel. Agile apple acquired. Um... I'll save it for now for the other guy. What is this? Oh, it's like a monkey on a stick? What is that? I mean, I'll save the game. I do want to pause in just a moment. So we'll see if there's any quick upgrades that might help us. Check the stores. Check memory temple. Take a break. Up. Traveler, she come from the place called Phil Gaia in our fables. Hmm. Life Guardian is still a prisoner inside the forest prison. Okay, well that'll be relevant to us later. Boop. Life Guardian's in the forest prison. I don't know why, though. You don't look at the things you don't like. You don't do things you don't want to do. This is how we live. What do you think? Not seeing any stores here so far. Mystic Apple's huge. I mean, our damage is already really high, but what if higher? Use the teleportation device to travel to any area in Philgaia. Occasional accidents do occur, and sometimes you'll end up in a scary place. For a normal operation, it works fine, though. But if you give it any more impact, your risks will increase. Uh, okay. The forest prison is a prison for monsters built by elves to trap monsters who have betrayed to the elves' world. They go in, but don't come out. Now all prisoners are monsters. The Guardian of Life is also trapped there. Sandra's asks you to release the Guardian of Life. Use the key to open the chest which seals the Guardian. Okay, well, I'm glad we talked to that random person because he gave us a key. Must be destiny that ancient treasures of Fogai are finally being used. Remember, power without heart is evil. So what is he talking about? The teleportation device and occasional accidents? Is this like Vicky and Suikoden? We're all randomly oops. Oh, see, even chat wrote it. I mean, I can call it oops. We can always rename it to oops. To change. The humans are visiting our village. Boop. The scariest place in the world is the abyss. They keep all the monsters there. So scared of that place, I don't even know its location. It seems like there's no stores here, which is a little disappointing. I see Miss Turnfil Guy into a wasteland. The sinner had to be locked up in the land beyond the forest. Oh, wait. I don't think I went in that other building. I thought it was this building. And then I went by it and I went, no, it's not. <laughs> I think I very acquired. Here, what are this place the same as it was a thousand years ago? Then things have changed in such a long period of time. It's said that there are no monsters in the L world. We sealed them inside a place far from here, located to the southwest. Okay, so abyss equals southwest. I'll write that down for next time. Uh, I don't think I checked these barrels. Nothing there, though. We'll come back with the radar eventually. I'm just looking for, like, easy pickups. See, so, yeah, it, looks, it looks like at least if we want to do the bonus content, it's worth using the upgraded gear that we got. So, at least we could say defense does slightly matter. Unless we really grind it out. Okay. Boop. Get back here, you will be booped. Can I just touch you? I've never seen anything that wasn't an L. 
Blue Ribbon acquired. Okay. Defense increase for her is actually huge. Ooh, there we go, chat. Getting almost another 19 defense to possibly survive that one shot from the arena. That's pretty huge. I don't have enough to heal how much it does, but at least it could buy me a turn. Sunbird had found. Assuming this is for him. And he also got another 30 defense. So hey chat, maybe it's possible I can survive now? In that arena? With just those two items? So let's screw this. Oh no. Interesting world. We're gonna deal with that later. Back to Forest Mound. <laughs> yeah, let's call screw this oops. I'm trying to think what we should call screw this. I feel like we need we need a couple moments where we just say that in battle. Like, uh, screw this. Wait, what? Oh, I got stuck for some reason. That was weird. Okay, so teleportation still requires me to go to the forest mound, which is whatever. So let's go ahead and do that to teleport to somewhere else. Can I eek out of here for speed? Nope. Okay, so I think I need to go to Aldehyde, if I'm remembering correctly. So yeah, now that we have the teleport spells, life feels so much better. This is how the game should have been, like, 12 hours ago, Chad. I'm just letting you know. There is no reason some of that should have been locked this late in the game. It's also weird that we got, like, waypoints in the world to work between, but they're just, like, so much slower than everything else. I don't see why we would ever do those. Alright, let's rename the spell slightly. So I have other abilities I could get. Rename, screw this to oops. I'm gonna do oops with all the dots. Uh Think about what to call these. At least most of our abilities are named. We still don't have a good name for a heal spell. We're still using Remedy. We'll come back to it. See, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Up here, because I think that's where the Memory Temple was. I'm going to try Emiko first, because that was the name of the leader of the village. And maybe that'll give us access to that other area. Yeah, it's possible with this defense increase, we could survive the arena now. But obviously, if we come back with three people, it should be even easier, for sure. See if we can, we'll go for Emiko first. Then I'll go through the list of names that it mentioned earlier. Emiko. Match found. I'm the guardian of the Temple of Memory. A rightful heir of the memory. Prepare to receive the knowledge. Okay. Is this like a real I did not mean to touch that. That was unfair. I let go of the run button. That was unfair. I wanna go back here. I'm assuming I gotta use the tier here. Okay. <laughs> no, not worse spells. Okay, so if we had if we had started the game over and we had known Emiko was the password, we could have ended up with more spells in the beginning of the game. What was that sound effect? It like horn tooted. That was weird. Anyway, we should just be able to one-shot everything. We're pretty insanely overpowered for this area. Bonk. Why 
Why was the music different? So let's go ahead and do this. Holy Paracel. Absorb enemies MP is magic. Oh, so if I get hit by spells, I recover MP. Hmm. That's actually not potential. If he can use that, he can't. Okay. I was going to say, if he could use that, that would actually be super good on him. For her, it would have been okay. The problem is, like, losing 100 sorcery means that I'm basically dedicating her to being a healer. Which, the way we've been playing has not been the case. We've been playing her, like, 80% Black Mage. It's only in boss battles that we kind of flip it a little and she's more supportive. Otherwise, in normal combat, she doesn't bother healing. The best defense is a good offense that kills literally everything near you. True facts. So let's oops back to Rosetta Town, I guess. Let's have a little save here. I guess I could also restore my MP for like no cash. That's fun. Okay. So let's conclude our thoughts in terms of what we feel about the current session. Well, definitely... Encounter Down is sometimes useful, because there's some puzzles where I can't really skate or I'm forced to walk, where I can now just dodge a majority of the encounters that I don't like. I like the ability to teleport around. I'm glad we now have the ability to summon the golem to us, rather than try to find it in the overworld. I wonder if that means I can summon the golem in the other place. We'll have to try that at some point for advanced exploration. So there are ways to kind of mitigate combat, which is good. Most of the combat has not been as hard as the Lo the Lolitha, I think her, the golem's name fight was. I think she was actually like a genuine difficulty spike. We got really lucky she did not like multi-freeze us because that would have game over at us for sure. She was also a fight I wasn't sure if we were going to win in one try. Um, we saw the arena is quite difficult. We might come back in a couple more levels. It, I think we have enough defense to survive, but now it's just a question of can we kill the enemy? So presumably it's going to scale up until we fight some ridiculous super boss. And we should at least be able to fight in the arena long enough to make our monies back. So I'm thinking like two or three fights might be enough money to make it worthwhile. Potentially could even use the cards on them, depending on how much XP they are. But yeah, coming back with a third party member and maybe a weapon upgrade on Hunter could make a big difference. I think otherwise our runes are pretty solid. I don't have any complaints there. We got an optional rune in the Northeast, so we got rewarded for exploring. And that made Hunter a lot better. So not only is he faster, but he was tankier and his damage was also still pretty good. So those are all things we want as a backup quick heal character. Or just even a backup damager. So no regrets with this current rune choice so far. Hopefully we get another speed rune, potentially for uh, Cowboy, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, chat, I don't think I have too much else to add. We talked about everything else about how the session went so far. So again, I'm in a happy place when I'm not forced into millions of encounters. So I'm glad I could avoid a lot of ship navigation once we've been to places and I have to backtrack. And yeah, we got to name a lot more spells. So I could, in theory, go finish all the basic spells. I'm pretty sure we have more than enough to finish all the white mage and black mage ones, even with having done all the advanced spells. So we'll think about it. It is kind of a shame that we have to choose between like literally, do we have half the sorcery value or do we have resistance to an to an ailment? I feel like that's kind of a bad decision from the game. I'm a little disappointed in. I was kind of hoping that there would be a dedicated more support slot and something else would be for like defense or offense. Not that I should choose whether to wear like the equivalency of Final Fantasy ribbon versus being able to do damage. That feels like a really weird choice to make. Not in agreement with it. Hopefully they balance that out in the, in the future games. So far, I'm still inclined to continue Wild Arms, but I might need like a small break in between. Since, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of RNG encounters. I don't mind overworld encounters. But yeah. 
or, or if the animation's faster. If the combat animation is faster in 2 and 3, that's also fine. I'm one of the people that plays a game like Disgaea, no, no animations, max speed, and then I don't have any problems with the game. I just get kind of tired of watching them do like an 8 second confused spell that doesn't land or might land. It's like if I were to play a Pokemon game, I play with no animations. I'm just like, just tell me the results, I don't care. But anyway, that's it for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.